Just unmute your mic. Hello? Yo, what's good? What's up, man? Chilling. Yeah, I see you watching this game. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Who are you going for? You a Hawks fan? Well, last year the Hawks did a really good job, so I guess I'm rooting for them, but Lamelo Ball is like an awesome player, so All right. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm 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 a I'm a Heat fan actually, so I'm just watching this for the the emotion of it. <laughs> yeah, who the Heat is going up against in the in the first round? The uh, the Raptors? No, they're I think um they're waiting for for the seventh seed. Oh yeah, they're waiting between the Hawks and the um the Hornets. Yeah. Ooh. So, Yo, the, the Heat uh, and the Hawks uh, uh, would be interesting. Yeah, Heat Heat Hawks would be amazing, man. Seeing a matchup <clears throat> for Hero and Young, it would be awesome. Yeah, that that would be more interesting. Uh, the Hornets. I feel like it's not their time yet. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, my, but, hey, it's 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 impressive mm-hmm. that they made it to the play. In, who the Hornets? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I kind of expected them to be there. Really? I, I didn't. I yeah. I, I didn't expect the Cavs to be in the mix as much as they've been in the mix. I didn't expect that. Well, yesterday's Cavs game that was brutal. <laughs> Poor guys. Yeah, but I didn't really expect them to be there. But you know, they kind of surprised everybody with, uh, especially with yeah. their rookie. What's his name? Uh, Mobley. Mobley, yeah. Yeah, that guy's a real. He could be. He could be the real deal. Yeah. But Miami, I don't know what's been going on with them, man. They, they look like they've been breaking down before the season well, they, ended. They had like a. They had they they lost like four games in a row, like ten four, like six games ago. But they got back on track. They lost ten games in a row. No, four, four, five. Oh, four. I think, four. Yeah. yeah, Jimmy Butler looking like he wanted to go fucking Floyd Mayweather on um on Eric Spolster, man. He looking like he wanted to knock him out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That that was when that was when their losing streak. <laughs> that yeah. was when their losing streak. And then the Miami OG has went on like a vacation for a couple of days. Oh, he did. <laughs> yeah, I think so because it was oh. like uh, the their second their second coach that was with them after that. Yeah, because they, they they had to highlight the Miami OG man Haslam man. He came to the rescue. Yeah. My man was looking like the enforcer, yo. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised the Hornets still come back though. They they got they got plenty of time. Well, they uh, the Hawks had a bit uh, big lead. Now they're like, I think it's just like uh, six games. It's six, right? Yeah. Are are you a Hawks fan? Nah, nah. I'm I'm, I'm just an NBA fan overall. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just an NBA fan. I overall. am rooting for the Heat, though. I I really hope that they get far. Yeah, I, I hope the Heat get to the next round to face the um the Seventy Sixers. I really want James Harden out of that because to me he's a fraud. <laughs> he's one of the biggest frauds in the NBA, man. But I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna give him credit. I feel like he should have been a back-to-back season MVP. That that year that they gave it to Westbrook, James Harden was the MVP of the league, man. Well, I didn't see that season, but I don't know what happened to Westbrook this season. That was crazy. Yeah, just his triple doubles don't really mean much. The year they gave nope. him MVP, <laughs> um, his team was not even that good, and he attempted the most shots in the NBA. He was stat padding. Did he did he achieve the MVP while he was playing on the Thunders? Yeah, while he was playing on the Thunders, but he was stat padding the whole time. He was stat padding, and James Harden he was killing it, and his team was had the best record. Like I didn't understand that, but because Westbrook got a triple double, average that they were, and then Kevin Durant just left the Thunder. They gave it to um, Westbrook. I didn't understand that. Did you see that Zion is warming up for the Pelicans game? Yeah, but you know, this guy is Zion, man. There's a lot of hype behind him, man, but I just don't really... The guy's been overweight for two of the last three years. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. But he looks kind of in shape, and he's hitting that 360 dunk. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it's like most a lot of players in the league could do 360 dunks. I feel like it's just, it's just because it's Zion. 
yeah, yeah. It, that is true. There, that, it's the hype. Yeah, the hype machine behind Zion is crazy. I, I don't really get it. Because once again, this guy's been overweight for two of the last three seasons. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, so it was like, to me, the, crazy. The, the best yeah. pick of that draft was was Jean Morant, for sure. Jean oh, yeah. Morant is the star of that draft. I mean, just the impact he has on his squad is crazy. I can't wait to see the 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 Minnesota Wolves and uh, Grizzly game. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, when is that? Tomorrow, right? I'm not sure. Wait, hold on. Let me check that. I think it is. Yeah, I think tomorrow is like when the official uh, start of that first round is. Let me see. NBA games tomorrow. Oh, man. What's happening with Young? He's missed like a bunch of threes. Let me see. Oh, it's still a playing tournament. What the hell? The first round looks like it starts Saturday. I thought yeah, that shit yeah. started. It's still playing. Like yesterday, the, the, the people who won uh, went directly into the playoffs. And then the ones who... Oh, no. There's actually a second round, right? But I'm not sure. That's... No, yeah, yeah the, the, you're right. The, the, there's another game in the um, play-in. I oh, think. Uh, so, so Minnesota and Grizzlies is a is a is a playoff game. Uh, yeah, it's a playoff game. Let me see. Clippers lost. I oh. think Clippers have to face whoever loses uh, the Spurs and um, Pelicans game. Yeah, the Clippers get one more chance. Um, let me see who lost yesterday. The Cavs. The Cavs, I I believe, do they get another chance? Yeah, yeah I, think I think they, they play do. whoever loses this. this yeah, game. they get one more mm-hmm. chance. If the Hornets lose, I think they're out. No, I I really do think they play with um, like whoever loses this one plays with the Cavs. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. So whether you're ninth or tenth place, you you still have to win that first game. Okay. Yeah, you have to win that first game. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, this playing shit is so new, but I feel like the league needs it. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a, it's a nice way for the NBA to make more money, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and then, but to also be more interesting. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Well, last year, you know, like the Lakers got into the playoffs. Uh, or well, was it last year? No, two years ago, the year they won. Mm-hmm. They got into the into the playoffs through the playing tournament. No, no, no. The year they won, they was on like the the, the, the the first seed in the West. Oh, and then and then it must be last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, last year it was bullshitting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but for sure, the playing, it, it makes the league interesting because less teams have an excuse to tank. And that tanking bullshit is corny. <laughs> yeah. It's corny, man. Yo, name the last team that drafted a player and then went to the finals. Man, uh... Draft. That tanked got 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 like the the top overall pick and then went to the finals, because the way the way teams be making it seem like that that, that shit works, you you would think that you could name like seven teams that oh yeah we drafted a guy and then we we went years later we we went to the finals like well, that shit don't happen the, like the that. Kate Cunningham case that he's like number one draft and they didn't get there. Yeah, but that's recent. But he, but he still might achieve like the MVP, the the rookie of the year. He could be, but that's recent. I'm talking about in the past. Like, like, oh, hey man, my, my daughter just woke up. She's crying. So <laughs> nice right. talking with you, man. All right, no doubt, no doubt. You said Magic Johnson? Yeah. No, no, I didn't say anything. No, 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 the other guy. There's another guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Game you said Magic Johnson? Yeah, he's probably the only one. Yeah, man. And what, what is that? You got to go back like 40 years? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Like, that tanking shit, I'm telling you, that shit don't work. <laughs> it don't work, man. Like Cleveland Tank, they drafted a prodigy in LeBron, and he had to leave there for four years. Them get two other first round picks, and then for him to yeah. come back, and then for them to make a trade, like all that shit had to happen just for them to win. Like that's mm-hmm. wild. But the way like OKC be tanking, some of these teams be tanking. You swear to God, yo, there was a formula for winning, and it's like, dog, it don't work like that. Yeah. It's just like the the risk is not worth the reward, man. It's like it's too risky. Yeah, I think I think you can you can 
you can draft top picks, but you also gotta make trades too. Yeah. But like to tell your fan base, yo, we're gonna lose the whole year. We're gonna spend this yeah. next six months losing just to get like a point percentage of a chance to draft a guy that could be most likely an okay player, but he's not gonna fucking be a Michael Jordan or like a Kobe or anything like that. Like it just yeah. it don't make sense. Like even even the trust the process shit in a Philly, they tank yeah. for so many years just to get Ben Simmons. Just for all that shit to go wrong like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit not worth it, man. Like, they, they dead ass sacrifice seasons, man, to get to yeah. the Ben Simmons fiasco of this year. Yeah. That shit is not worth it. It's like, yo, what the fuck did we do all that trust the process shit for? That shit is wild. Yo, did you ever see, uh, um, what's his name? Al Harrington, he came, he came to the, he sat courtside with a pound of weed on the floor. <laughs> did you, did you ever see that? No, I didn't see that one. Yeah, I think it was, a, it might have been at a Hawks game. I'm not sure, but he had the Allen Iverson, mm. him and Allen Iverson got a collaboration and the weed mm. is like named something Iverson. And yo, the nigga was sitting down with a pound of weed courtside. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I was like, no way. <laughs> My man had the bag of pound of weed courtside. <laughs> Let me see what his shit is called. That shit was wild. I was like, yo, AI is him and AI is wilding. Yeah, Al Harrington. Yeah, his his shit is called Iverson. My man had the purple bag of Iverson, a pound of that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, it was it was during a Hawks Pistons game. That shit is wild. The NBA, yo, the NBA let LeBron James come in with that wine and tequila. Man, they're letting the players do whatever the fuck they want now. <laughs> Thing is chilling. Ooh, good move. Yo, I'm tired. I wouldn't be surprised if uh Damn, it's kind of falling behind now, but I wouldn't be surprised the Hawks came back. It's just, they don't be playing no defense like that. Yeah, the Hornets <clears throat> just need, like, a, a big man. Yeah, they might end up getting the, the Knicks big man, uh, Mitchell Robinson. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like he gonna try to make some moves to get out of there, man. He got all the leverage. When is, uh, what's his name, Jamal Murray coming back? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's they supposed to come back for the playoffs. I haven't heard of him. Yeah, it's been like, what, two years now, right? Yeah. It feels like yeah. it. <laughs> Yo, Miles Bridges got like a mixtape. <laughs> Yo, you ever see videos of him rapping? He actually rapped better than yeah. some of the rappers, man. Yeah. He got a flow, a cadence. He's like, he's like, he's mad wavy on the beat. I'm like, all right, Miles Bridges <laughs> rapping better than the rappers. <laughs> yo, Michael Jordan must be sick. <laughs> yo, yo, if you go to the Hornets Twitter page right now, they're promoting his mixtape. <laughs> that shit is so cracked. Jordan is promoting it on the Twitter page. <laughs> I was like, this nigga Miles Bridges is rapping his ass off. He got like he got like that that Bay Area off beat flow. Yeah. You know where they're like rapping fast and it kind of sound like it's off beat, but then sometimes yeah. it sounds like it's on beat. Yeah. Yeah, he got like that type of flow. Ooh, Trey Young got the dance moves. The Hawks are killing them with the threes. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of similar to how the Hawks played last season, mm-hmm. where it's not it's not just Trey Young, everyone else getting involved too. Yeah, it's about time because they they technically shouldn't even be in the play-in. They should have 
been one of the contending teams. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you seen Pat Bev last night? Pretty turned up. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, my man Pat Bev was was like looking like Rocky Balboa out there, man. Just had his heart on his sleeve. <laughs> yeah, he was telling the Clippers go back home. He was talking his shit. Yeah. But yo, if the Clippers somehow get into the, um get into the second round, I think Kawhi coming yeah. back. Yeah, they get they get that far, he'll come back. Yeah, cuz I was shocked that PG came back and was looking like he never left. He dropped 35 the first night. PG was wilding. He's like, I'm about to get it in. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, who you got for the um who you think is gonna win the whole thing this year? Uh I think it's gonna be between uh Phoenix and Miami. And uh I think I think Phoenix going in seven. So nobody, you don't believe in the Bucks? Uh Bucks could get there. I just, I don't. The Bucks, I think the Bucks gonna miss some of the role players. I think in this playoffs, like who? Uh, PJ Tucker. Yeah, they are gonna miss PJ Tucker. I think Brooke Lopez might have just came back, but he was he was hurt for the longest. Mm hmm. But they got they got crazy eye Bobby Portis man with them crazy yeah. ass eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby P man he be he be tweaking man. He like he ready to break somebody jaw. You ever heard a story about him getting into that fight at practice? With, uh, with Miritich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A man be getting the, giving the crazy eyes man after some of these dunks. <laughs> Yeah, they're like they're like the Hawks are giving them the business now. <clears throat> Damn, they're up like twenty five. Yeah. But it's still the third quarter. You never know. The Hawks could end up treating this shit like the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. That was a bad miss. This dude Miles Bridges talking about he he looking for a max contract. He I don't know if Charlotte would give it to him. Yeah, I mean, in a way, I kind of feel like even if they don't give him the max or something close to it, they got no choice but to kind of give it to him. Yeah. It's like who else they gonna get, especially with uh. Uh, Lamelo. Yeah. <clears throat> Lamelo's. Uh, he need like a wingman. Yeah. They try. They try to. Um. They try to play book night. I guess they 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 don't believe in him anymore. Who? Uh, James Book Night. Oh, that's one of their plays. Like they don't. Really, they're not really fucking with him like that. Nah. Shit. He was like their main draft pick, and they ain't been playing him. When when did they get him? I think he was like in his past draft. He was in the uh, he was in the same draft as Kate. And what he was like a top pick, or he was like a like thirteen pick like that? He was like like eleventh or twelfth. Damn, and they, they didn't use him at all. I ain't hardly seen them this season. Yeah, that's the only thing about the draft now. It's like yeah. you could get like a, a MVP dude in like the 15th pick, or you could get a bust yeah. in like the fifth pick. You just don't really yeah. know what you're going to get. Yeah. But I feel like teams right now, they need to have identity first and then draft a player that fits into that. Yeah, cause uh, I'm a Magic fan. We got we got two players mm -hmm. from that draft. You play you play quite a lot. Yeah, you got uh Suggs, right? Yeah, we got uh Franz Wagner and Suggs. 
Oh, for, yeah, how, how's Wagner doing? He's playing pretty well. He might win Rookie of the Year. Yeah, um, what's his name? M- Mo Wagner, too. He's not He's not a rookie, mm-hmm. right? No, he's not a rookie. Yo, but Mo was a good... That was a good fucking pick, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, they got him in a trade. Oh, they did? Okay. Yeah. Yo, but he came out of nowhere. I was like, yo, who the fuck yeah. is Mo Wagner's guy, man? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. he'd be dunking on dudes. I'd be like, who the fuck is yeah. this guy? <laughs> Yeah, but Jalen sucks. But the the magic, it was surprising that they even got him because the Raptors was supposed to. Everyone thought Suggs was going number four. The Raptors threw the curveball yeah. and took Barnes. Yeah. But that that's the thing. I think the Raptors they have an identity. Yeah. And so they I mean, they drafted like for for that identity. So that's why they they curve Suggs. Yeah, I think I think the Raptors sooner or later gonna try to use <clears> Barnes as a point guard. You think so? Yeah. Mm. Especially since like Van Vliet and Trent kind of like combo type guards mm-hmm. where they can kind of play either. That's true. I feel like the Raptors just need like another trick to try to get a, a superstar in there. Yeah. Put them on top of everything they got. They could make yeah. a serious run because I don't think players want to fuck with Toronto like that. I don't know what it is. It's the weather, the currency change, some yeah. shit. They're not really fucking with it like that. Yeah. But if you look at the way they construct their teams, yeah, it's a good it's a good spot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a good spot. But the only problem is like the cold weather, the changing of your money. It's not even the same yeah. currency. It's like you want to yeah, deal like, with that shit every week. Right. Like they get a superstar, they probably want to trade for one. Yeah. Like how they how they did Kawhi, yo, because nobody knew yeah. they had a championship type squad until yeah. they got Kawhi. We was like, damn, they're beating the 76ers yeah. with Jimmy Butler and B, Tobias, yeah. and fucking yeah. Ben Simmons. Like that team beat all those guys, yo. It's like. We didn't yeah. know that they just needed a superstar. Yeah. And, like we had and, no uh, fucking idea. We had no idea at all that that team was that good. Yeah, and that was like, and that was like when Siakam was first going off. Yeah. But that's because everyone was paying attention to uh, Kawhi. Mm-hmm. And then they, they made the move to get Gasol on that team, which was a good pickup. Yeah. They got rid of Valachunas. Gasol was more like a... I don't know if he protected the paint better, but he was like a better fit. Yeah. Valachunas was kind of like more finesse. Yeah. But those two, like, to, to get rid of uh, DeRozan, put Kawhi, yeah. and then get rid of Valanchunas and put Gasol, even though Gasol was older, that shit yeah. fit perfect. Yeah. And they, they didn't even have OG and Anobly really play. I think he got hurt that year. They had him yeah. in the cut, and then they still won the whole shit. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I mean, that's crazy that they could not, that, that they beat Embiid, Butler, yeah. Ben Simmons, and Tobias Harris. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that was a season, that was like, that was like one of the last seasons Lowry was there. He was like leading the league in assists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I forgot about Lowry. Yeah, yeah, Lowry was killing it too. Yeah. Yeah, but at least DeRozan had his, like, you know, spotlight this year. Yeah. He's doing his shit, but yeah. at the end of the day, like, that, that that turned out to be a really good move for the Raptors because yeah. even though Kawhi dipped yeah. out, yeah, yeah. they got a ring. I would never think the Toronto Raptors would win an NBA championship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because DeRozan got close a few times. Yeah. Like when they look at the, the record books, they're going to see the Toronto Raptors. Like, that's out of nowhere. Like, how the fuck did they get a ring? Yeah. Like, there's mad NBA teams that never even won once. And the Toronto yeah. Raptors got a fucking ring. That shit is wild. 
The fucking Raptors. Wow. You think uh, Lamelo is the is the best ball brother out of all of them? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I think as far as like I think as far as like point guard skill, I think he up there. Mm-hmm. Even Alonzo is pretty good too. But as far as like true point guard. I think I think Lamelo probably the best like it's a true point guard, but I don't know. I just don't know enough about Leangelo yet because if he is good as everyone been saying he was, he might be the best. Uh, we mean the 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 middle brother. Yeah. Nah, the middle brother's in the G League. Dang. Yeah, he's I heard a- he's like I heard he's like he was balling. No one just want to pick him up. Nah, he was balling in the G League, but we already know how that go. Yeah. Like, I don't know. There's something about the G League where when you in that shit, you good enough to almost get to the pros, but just to make that next leap is like leaping a hundred times. Like, the distance between the NBA and the fucking... and the G League is a long-ass distance versus G League in college or G League... And like Europe, it's like close. They're like very similar, but for yeah. somebody to make the next step up, it's like it's like going through like a thousand steps. Cause I remember like the Knicks, they had Jimmer for debt. He was hyped up in college. They had him on the bench, and then they sent him to the G League, the G League the next day. My man dropped like fifty points. Yeah, cause I saw somewhere it said the Hornets was going to sign uh, Leangelo to play. Like alongside Lamelo, they never did it. Nah, they did sign him. They signed him to the to the G League. Oh, they signed him to the G League. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, in order for him to make that next step up to get into the NBA, that that fifteen man on the bench to get that yeah. bench spot coming from the G League is like taking a thousand yeah. steps, yo. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to make that leap. Cause the gap is the gap be crazy, man. It would be crazy in the motherfucker. It's almost like yeah. saying like someone making a jump from D one, from D two to yeah. D one. Yeah. It's it, but it's doable. It is, it's, it's doable. doable. Yeah. But like making a jump from from G League to NBA, man, yeah. that's a long ass way, son. Yeah. It's you you close, but you mad far at the same time. Yeah. Cause like. Like I said, the way you, the way I see it, I be seeing players that be getting sent down to the G League after doing nothing yeah. in the NBA game, and they be dropping yeah. like fifty. I'm like, yo, damn, he's mad nice to drop fifty in the G League, but he comes in the NBA and he gets like one rebound. Yeah, that's what they be saying about the Magic players on Twitter, on on uh, on my timeline. Mm-hmm. We saying that about Bros Dakis and uh, Kennedy, but I don't hardly see him in the game. Yeah, the Knicks had Bros Davis. It was the same shit. Um, yeah. He was he was killing it, but coming into the the NBA, you just didn't really see a transition. Yeah. It should should be like that. It's just like wow. Yeah. Like there's a lot of players that be killing in the G League. They just never. It's just, it never be translating. You don't you remember when the Lakers had that had that thirty six year old that played for the Lakers like two seasons ago? Everybody was yeah. clapping it up. He was been in the G League for yeah. mad years, and then yeah. they called him up. Yeah, yeah, man. I heard about him. Yeah, yeah it was like that, that's how much of a leap it is, yo. Yeah, that shit like, like of a leap. Like, like Malik Monk, I heard <clears throat> he was in the G League at one point. Mm-hmm. Malik Monk. He was lucky to get the offer from the Lakers. Yeah, he's doing his thing now. Yeah. But I think in the future, the G League is where that the league is going to get a lot of players because yeah. I noticed that they're starting to put more money into those programs because they don't want to be affiliated with that NCAA shit because they be doing some funny shit like, like, uh, like Zion, right? Zion do yeah. some illegal shit in college. They never say NCAA players Zion women. They go NBA players involved in a scandal. That's yeah. that's that's the way it gets said every time. 
So it's even though the dude was never in the NBA, he was in college. They never say, they never say this college player. They always say NBA player involved in scandal. Yeah. So I I don't think the NBA likes that shit, man. That's why they're trying to develop the G League so guys can just curve that whole booster college type yeah. atmosphere. Where we all know, we all know they're paying guys to go to some of these schools. They're paying their parents. You know, recruiters are getting like, yo, I'll send my son to this school. This is the price. Like, yeah. all that shit going on, man. Like, uh, yeah. I, I think the G League making players better, like, like way with uh, Jalen Green and now uh, upcoming Jaden Hardy. I think a lot of players going to take G League over college. Mm hmm. And they're paying them too. Yeah, they're paying them too. I think uh, the top G League got like two fifty. Yeah. Let me see the top paid G League player. I think that was last summer. Yeah, like the highest is one hundred twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Yeah, Jalen Green, he was damn. Jalen Green was making five hundred k. Damn. Damn, as a G leaguer, shit. <laughs> like that's a good ass option for, for a kid who knows like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play ball. I can always yeah. go to college. You can always go. They give out they give out loans to everybody to go to that shit. That's why I never understood like the NCAA acting like, yo, they can only go to college now. I'm like, nigga, they can yeah. always go. Yeah. They could be 45 and go. Yeah. <laughs> they'll give them a they'll give them a loan to go. Yeah. Yeah, so the NBA the NBA putting some money into that G League shit. Yeah. Yeah, Jalen Green was the highest paid player. Mm. Yeah, so Jalen Green skipped high school. I think Suggs did too. They went to the G mm. League. Well, Suggs went to uh, Gonzaga. Oh, so Suggs went to college. Okay. Yeah. There's like a there's like a team that's in the um, G League that they develop players. Like I forgot what's the name of the team. Thing they call ignite. Yeah, the ignite. What yeah. is that? I don't. I don't know. I think that's just the name of their team. No, but like that they team have... is like specifically like players. The, the the league think that's gonna be stars. They specifically put them in one group, and they run a program yeah. just for them. Yeah. Cause that, uh, Kaminga and Jalen Green was on that team. They both went to the league. And now they got two two new players. They got some dude named Henderson, and they got Jaden Hardy. Mm-hmm. And they both they both supposed to go to NBA this season. Yeah, the Ignite thing is like a it's like a development team yeah. within the G League. It's not really. I don't think it's part of the G League. It's like top NBA prospects. They put them in a roster yeah. with some vets to school them. Yeah. And, yo, and they give them and they give them salaries up to five hundred k. Oh, so you gotta be like a top top guy. They'll put you in that program. Yeah. Yeah, and then the lowest salary is one twenty five. Mm. That's mad good for a kid out of high school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yo that yo you know how many fucking. Wow, you know how many plays back in the day would have fucking benefited from this shit? Like, what's his name? Brandon Knight? What's his name? The, the dude from um the the Bucks. Brandon Jennings. Brandon Jennings, yeah. He would have benefited yeah. nice from this shit. He yeah. would have had to have go to Europe. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is yeah, this is this is dope. Yeah. They should make this Ignite team go up against um What's up? What's what's the what? What do they call that game during All Star Weekend with all the rookies and sophomores? Uh, 
team's rising star. Yo, they should make the Ignite team go up against them in All Star Weekend. They had the Ignite stars, but they they weren't. They want the team. They want the uh, whole team. Yeah, the whole they team. Like, yeah, the whole team versus uh the um the rookies of the NBA. Yeah. All Star Weekend to showcase them. Yeah. That would be dope. Yeah. Like people get to see like, oh, okay, this is a player that's coming up. He could be here next year. Like people will check them out and then, you know, it'll be creating more hype for like the G League and shit. Yeah, for sure. Cause people be mad into like some people, the people that are into like the draft, like they be yeah. into it. So I'm be like, I can't yeah. watch these guys if they don't go pro. If yeah. they're not in the <laughs> league, I don't really like, I'm like, uh, yeah, that's how I felt about March Madness. I was just watching the prospects. Yeah, that, yeah. That's the thing about like me personally. I don't watch college basketball because yeah. to me it's just like I'm like, yo, these teams change every season. How could people yeah. even be into this shit like that? You don't even know yeah. who the hell you're watching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, the whole squad is different from one year to the next. Dudes transferring. Yeah. Everybody doing their own thing. Everybody got their own agenda in college basketball. It's weird. Yeah. Like, certain people want to start. Some people want to do this. I'm just like, that, that shit is all over the place. Yeah. Like, there's a couple of players, man, that could have been super nice. But they had issues with colleges, man. Not starting them. Yeah. They have to transfer, and then all of a sudden, they're not eligible for the draft. Like it's mad weird shit. Yeah. Like the only thing I I, I never understood if a dude was mad nice, and let's say in college yeah. in college he got suspended, or yeah. some or he had like he, you know he did a mis- one mistake. Yo, they he would never be eligible for like an NBA team or, or even the NBA draft. Yeah, they would like blackball you on the low. I, that that shit I never understood. Yeah, for real. And yo, you you watching the game? Charlotte completely fucking this up. Yeah, they they almost let everybody give up. Yeah, they're just they're just chucking shit up now. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, yo, Friday. That's what I'm Hornet, Hornets need, like, a star big man that they can play around mm-hmm. and get get other dudes good look. But yeah. I like I like LaMelo, but he more like the floor general than, like, the score. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he, he's going to be interesting when he develops. I, I feel like he could be, like, yeah. a scoring Jason Kidd. Yeah. Yeah, he could, he could be that type. Yeah, he could be like a, a Jason kid that could actually shoot when he's young. Yeah. But who knows? Because you know, you know, it's funny about the NBA today. Like sometimes they don't give yeah. the young guys enough time to grow. Yeah. They just be like, "Yo, he's not nice by year two. Oh man, we gotta yeah. we gotta move off him. Yeah. Like like look what happened to the um to the Indiana Pacers. Yeah. They wanted to move off of um Karis Levert. He's 26. Yep. They wanted to move off of Sabonis. He's 25. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Like these dudes, <laughs> these dudes are, are mad young. They wanted to move off of them and go yeah. younger. I'm just like, yo, that's fucking wild. Miles Turner, all these guys are 25. You hear all of them are in trade rumors as if like they're washed. Uh, the whole pace of team. Yeah, I'm just like, yo, like <laughs> everybody's like 25, man. Like, what? The, they've been yeah. in the league for like four or five years. Yeah. But I feel like Luca. Th- that's the Luca effect. Yeah. Luca. Luca changed the 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 standard for for young players, man. Yeah. Yeah, because Luca is like what, 21. My man already made the playoffs two times. Already an All Star. <laughs> Fucking Luca already got an OD resume. Yeah. And if you if you if you somebody that's you spend four years in college and you come into the NBA at age 20, 22, 23, 
Man, you mad behind, son. Yeah. You behind. Like, you 23, and this 21-year-old went up against Kawhi Leonard two years in a row in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, you got, like, two different experiences, man. Yeah, that's what that's what kind of hurt Buddy Hill. He came in the league. He was already, like, 24, something like that. Oh, shit. I didn't even know he was that old when he came in the league. Yeah. He was, like, he was like somewhere, like, between, like, 23, 24. Oh, wow. He, yeah. Nah, he he tripping, man. Like as soon as yeah. as soon as he knew he wanted to go to the league, he, he got it. You got to try to get in there, man. Yeah. Cause the league now, the way it is, if you don't try to get in as soon as possible, you're gonna start from behind. Yeah. Everybody in your age group already gonna be like, if they're nice, they're gonna be a three-time All Star by the time they're age 24. They're gonna at least have two playoff runs under their belt. And then they're gonna be like a they're gonna be like a a what? They're gonna be like a five year vet. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's it's your rookie year. That's that's crazy. Yeah. Like I'm about to pull up Lucas shit, man, because Lucas shit is crazy. Yeah. Yo, this dude is mad. Yo, this dude is only twenty three, but his resume is insane. Yo, my man's a like, three-time All-Star, son. You know, that's that's fucking crazy. My man, 23, three-time All-Star already. <laughs> Made the NBA first team two times already. Yeah. I think the thing that NBA loved about Luka was when he was like a teenager, he was like like one of the best pros in, in Europe. Mm-hmm. He was like he was like a young teenager and he was just balling on everybody in Europe. So when he came to the league, everyone figured it was a matter of time before he became that guy. Yeah. Oh, what, what happened? Miles Bridges losing his cool? <laughs> you just got tech. Yeah, that's not a good look for him. Oh, he's wilding. You saw him? He just swung out a fan. Mm. Yo, Miles Bridges is wilding, bro. Whoa. <laughs> yo, you saw that? <laughs> yeah. Yo, the fan, yo, the fan is, is so turned up. I don't think he noticed that Miles Bridges <laughs> swung at him. Yeah. Oh, he was mad at, at a goaltend. Damn, that shit is wild. Yeah. yeah, like you could even look at Anthony Edwards, man. Like he got a playoff. He got wait, it's his second year in the league. He already got a playoff um uh kind of strike already under his belt. Yeah. He already knows what, what's that what, what's that like. Yeah. Yeah, I think Anthony Edwards is gonna be that dude. Yeah, man, he's 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 uh he's got balls, man. Yeah. Yeah, Luca is just even Trey Young, Trey Young, twenty three. He got Eastern yeah. Conference Finals under his belt. He made All Star, I think, twice. Yeah. Uh, Jason Tatum under yeah, he's twenty three. He got multiple playoff appearances, All Star appearances. Under his belt already. That's what I'm saying. Like guys, when they stay in college for fucking three to four years, and you talking about you want to go NBA? Nah, man. They they most likely gonna draft you in the second round. Yeah. Damn, Devin Booker's only 24. <laughs> yeah, that's he got an NBA Finals appearance, multiple All Stars. Yeah, man. It's, it's like it's tough. Devin Booker been leave for a while. That's surprising. Yeah, he only twenty four. Yeah, age nineteen. I remember. I think he came into the NBA. He was super young when he came into the NBA. Yeah. But by the time you're like twenty five, twenty six, you like a six year vet. Yeah. So that's why I'm assuming, like, when they look at NBA players, 
that that spend you know when they look at prospects that spend too long in college yeah they're just like yo like you might not be good enough yeah yeah look at Devin Booker man this nigga got one two three four five six seven yeah my man my man's already a seven year vet bro that's crazy 25 years old he's seven year vet <laughs> Yo, and he's been averaging over 20 points for six seasons, and he's 25. Wow. Like, that's that's crazy to have that as a resume, yo. Yeah. But that's looking like that's a new norm. Yeah. yeah that's crazy. Not even Kobe. I mean, the thing is, when you look back at Kobe... Like, just looking back in the history shit, Kobe, yeah. like, there's no way in hell he could have even had, like, a, a good season when he was young because everybody was was older, yo, than yeah. him. Like, he was, yeah. he was a kid. Like, yeah. I mean, there was no kids like that. And I think Kevin Garnett was the only kid other than him. Yeah. Like I was I was looking at old Kobe highlights. Yeah, he was he was he just had to be like real athletic. Mhm. Yeah. And he made he made he made jump shots every once in a while, but a lot of it he was just athletic. And he was kind of like he was kind of like a playmaker too. Yeah. He actually I think Kobe started uh for the All-Star team before he started for the Lakers. Yeah. Which yeah. is crazy. You actually, that was like, that's one thing I wish they kind of brought back where you have to earn, you have to earn the title of captain on your team. You could be like the first overall pick. You could be like Luca. They can't just yeah. automatically say, yo, you, 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 start a team. You have to kind of like earn it. Yeah. But they don't do that no more. It's like they draft you first overall. They automatically give you the keys. Yeah. They're just like, oh yeah, you the star of the team, but it's like, dog, you didn't even step on the court yet. You That's didn't. Was... You didn't even do anything. Like, but they automatically give it to you now. Yeah. That's how they was portraying Cade. Like, as soon as he got drafted, like he the savior already. Yeah, it's like, but but when you look at Kobe, he had to earn that. Yeah. He had to earn that. He couldn't. They they wasn't gonna give it to him like that. I'm looking at KG. It says 95, 96, age 19. He averaged 10 points a game. Like, yeah, you couldn't come in as a teenager dominating. It was, like, almost impossible. Yeah. Yeah, KG ain't start doing his thing until, like, his fourth year. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, the like, NBA was different. Like, that's what I'm like. It was, it was not possible for Kobe to just come in there and just be like yeah I'm that guy like shit ain't really set up like that but nowadays I feel like I don't know what changed about the NBA but I guess they, they want to go younger yeah but that that shit that shit is fascinating I'm not sure like there's a podcast I forgot what is it called it's by it's by um, Bill Simmons it's part of Bill oh. Simmons um the mini podcast that he got he got like um beat writers that like used to cover the players when they first came into the league and then they had one um i think um um what's her name nate mcmillan she did a whole segment on kobe and shaq mm. when they first came into the league and she, man what did she say um she yeah they was talking about how kobe was trying to earn the respect of the vets for like the first three years. Yeah. And Shaq, Shaq and them used to clown Kobe. Mm. Yeah, because he was he was a kid. Yeah. He was a kid and that's how they looked at him. They was like... They was like, yo, like, you know... You gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta... They, she kept on saying how Shaq kept telling Kobe, like, yo, you gotta be patient. But... Kobe was in a rush to be like the head honcho. Yeah. <clears throat> you th did you see the the, the last doc about um, the, the last dance about the documentary with Jordan? Yeah. 
Yeah. You remember how Jordan was talking about Kobe on the dock? You saw that shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, yo, that kid, man. He's like, yo, that kid's gonna come at come at me tonight. Everybody's yeah. like, yeah, he's like, he <laughs> Jordan was like, yo, he don't wait for the game to come to him. He fucking take that yeah. shit. Yeah, like that Laker boy. Yeah. <laughs> But th- yo, that's how it was. It's like, yo, this this dude Kobe was like a kid among men, bro. Yeah. They was looking at him like, yo, why like th- who the fuck he think he is? Yeah. Coming out here thinking like he gonna fucking do his thing. Yeah. Oh hey, yeah, yeah. Book of Basketball 2.0. That's the that's the name of the podcast. You should look you should look that up, man. They got some really interesting uh um episodes on there, man. Mm. Yeah, Shaq and Kobe, the Dream Team. They cover like the the history of it. Yeah, that man. Shaq and Kobe episode was fucking interesting as fuck. They did Magic and Bird. Yeah, I'm looking at this joint right now. This is a really interesting fucking show. I was I found it the other day, mad randomly. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. Yeah, the book of basketball 2.0. This shit is good. I was like, yo, this this shit is good. Cause cause the woman that actually narrated it, she actually covered. She actually covered um Kobe. Yeah. She said she was like 20. Or 30 at the time. Mm. But it's mad interesting. I was like, yo, that's that's what's up. Like, she was like... It's crazy. It's crazy, man. When they went... It's it's a good thing they keep the history of all this shit. Because I feel like... The NBA... The more time that goes by... They downplay the people of the past. Yeah. Like I feel like the, I feel like little kids right now, if they're like five, six years old, yeah. they're gonna they're gonna look at Michael Jordan like he ain't shit. I swear to God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're gonna be like they're gonna be like, nah, he ain't nice. Stephen Curry's better. Yeah. Uh, that's why they um they um they no one's really trying to get a post player anymore because they think of that as the old school type. Yeah. But meanwhile, centers are dominating the NBA. You got Embiid yeah. and Jokic going for MVP yeah. in back-to-back seasons. Yeah. It's like, that shit is crazy. Who's Embiid? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm he's, he's, about to, he's the dude that's about to go crazy on James Harden when they lose in the first round. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, man. Okay, so are you are you both watching the the Hawks blowout right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Are you guys gonna be watching the the Spurs and Pelicans after? Yeah, I was gonna check it out. Yeah. It's kind of like two small market teams we all know gonna lose, but mm-hmm. I was like, fuck it, why not? Yeah. Honestly, I know LeBron said he don't like the play-in, but I, now that we've had a year to digest it, this second time around, I, I kind of like it. After that after that Clipper one last night, I was like. Okay, it's kind of cool. It's kind of good. Yeah, I don't mind it. I was just saying earlier, the play-in kind of makes it interesting because teams don't have to tank, and that shit is boring. Who the hell wants to watch a whole season of tanking? So you eliminate that, you make it interesting towards the end. Why not? Exactly. And then you got people like Patrick Beverly that think they just won the whole thing. Yo, but yo, <laughs> Pat, Pat Bev was turned up. I, I like the energy, man. I like the energy. Why not? Pat Bev, man, he deserves it. The, the Clippers got rid of him. Yeah, that's good for uh, Pat Bev. Yeah, Pat Bev told the Clippers, take that long-ass flight back <laughs> home, man. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but too bad Zion isn't playing in, in, in this next matchup. Because if Zion was playing, it would be more interesting, but I'm surprised they're doing good without him, though. Yeah, especially since they don't, got a, they don't really got... They got Alvarado, but they don't really got a starting caliber point guard right now. Mm-mm. They be playing CJ at the point. Yep. 
Oh, I forgot about CJ. CJ is on that squad. Yo, the Pelicans could be all right if they get Zion back. They could be I don't all right. Know Zion want to be there. Yeah, but I don't know. Zion's stomach says he wants to be there, man, because New Orleans got some good-ass food. And Zion <laughs> eating, eating, eating good over there, man. He eating shrimp, yeah. alligator, all types of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They got to send Zion somewhere where they cook the food with no MSG. Some place like Portland. Yeah. Where they add no where they add no seasoning to the food. <laughs> <laughs> man, they got, yo, they sent him down to Portland. He's gonna be over there smoking DMT and eating grass. <laughs> Off the week. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, yo, lately they've been mad highlights of Stephen A. Smith fucking around and playing basketball on the court. I, I don't know. He he's looking crazy, man. I'm not sure if y'all seen it on, on Twitter, man. Do any of you follow the Stephen A. Smith burner accounts? Yeah, I, I don't follow them, but they be coming up on my timeline, man. People be yeah, retweeting them. on TA a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they do between a lot. So every single year during March Madness, the owner of the account will take all of the most popular Stephen A. Smith memes and do like a March Madness style bracket where he puts polls up, lets people <laughs> vote on the winner. And every year, whichever one wins gets inducted into the Stephen A. Smith Hall of Fame. And I can't remember which ones. Oh, the one that just won this year was the We've Been Hoodwinked, Bamboozled, Let Us Stray, <laughs> Run Amok, and Flat Out Deceived. <laughs> <laughs> that one ended up winning it all. Huh? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, the one that won last year was the 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 um, the wolves. The I'm having a very bad day one. That one was also <laughs> really good. Oh man, I love that Twitter account. Yo, Stephen A. Smith is something else, man. When you do all them damn first take episodes, they're gonna people are gonna have a lot of online clips of you, man. Just doing dumb cool. shit, saying dumb shit. But the funniest one was him was fucking Max Kellerman talk about if yeah. the world was on the line, I would I would take Andre Iguodala to take the last shot. Yeah. I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> that was the worst take ever, yo. There's no way Max Kellerman be serious. Open shot, fate of the universe on the line, where the Martians yeah. have the death beam pointed at you. You better hit it. <laughs> I want Iguodala. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all hear the one where you were talking about how Kawhi is better than Kobe? Yeah, when man. When Tom Brady fell off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Max B be trying to sell it, man. He be trying to Don King us, man. <laughs> Max be trying to oversell the hype. Yo, with the Spurs, I liked, I uh, wasn't DeJounte Murray, man. I wonder if the Spurs would be willing to trade him. I think I think Spurs would probably keep him because if they get some good draft picks, they can build a squad over there. Nah, I mean I'm, I mean to a team that really wants a point guard. Like I'm wondering, yeah, with the right fuck, man. Where the fuck did they get him as a draft pick? Like, fuck. I think I think he been leave for a while because he used to be the backup to Tony Parker. I think. Oh really? Yeah. It was like he was kind of like he was kind of like a Kawhi role at first. He just was like a dog. He just played defense. Mm. But recently, he been going off of an offense. Yep, yep. Yo, I can't front the Spurs throwback with the um with the lime green, the the turquoise green, the fucking uh, yellow yeah. and, and the pink. That shit is fresh. Yeah. Yo, yeah. that I shit mean, that is should, fucking fresh, that man. Be in their main jersey. Yeah. Did you guys see that uh, the Miami Heat is bringing back the white hot jerseys? Oh, really? Oh, dude, those look so <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like those too. Yo, wh- why don't the Magic bring back the the pinstripes? I, I know. <laughs> Yo, uh, what Magic, are they waiting Magic on? Go back old school. Yeah, what the are pinstripe. they waiting on? That's vintage right there. That shit is classic. I don't know why they just don't bring it back at least like for like yeah. a night or something. I'm like, damn. A classic ass jersey. 
I was thinking like Magic get like a new logo and then a new main jersey be like the old Penny Hardaway type Shaq type jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gosh, that, that'll, that'll do it for them. Yeah. Yeah, that should be crack. Like. Yeah. Yeah, but some teams they have they have the the nice classic you know jersey yeah. colorways or whatever, but. I, I can't front the the Spurs because none of us ever think of anything fresh being San Antonio. Realistically, yeah, they always just the gray, the black and white. Hell yeah, or the the Greg Popovich type freaking yeah. ro- robotic fucking swag. <laughs> but that that city edition jersey they came out with this year though, I really liked. Yeah. Oh, I got I got to see that. I don't even know which one you're talking about. It um oh my goodness, I can't remember the, the exact colors. It had like a almost like a cactus kind of western type color to it. It looked mm. really nice. It might have been last year's, but they did one recently that I really enjoyed. They had a they had a nice camouflage jersey at one point. Really? The Atlanta Hawks advance in the NBA play-in tournament. They'll <laughs> play Cleveland Cavaliers. Wait, wait, the Hawks, the Hawks are going to play, play the Cavs? They got, they got to play one more time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, the way the... Actually, you know how the playing tournament works. Never mind. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so they'll play they'll play the Cavs on Friday, and then the winner of that one is going to be the one that gets that, that eight seed to play the Miami Heat. Mm. Yeah, man, it is... It, it's, it's taken me a little bit to get used to, because, like, uh, the seven seed... That game, you win and you're in. But yet, yeah. this next one, you got to go through a little bit in order to get that eight seed. Uh, I kind of feel bad for the Cavs because if Jared Allen had stayed healthy, they would have been like a higher seed. And Evan Mobley. Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's going on? Hello. Is- hey, uh, hey, my name's Jeff. Patrick in here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Patrick's been in a couple of spaces that I've been a part of um, the past couple of days, um, including right. yeah, I think yesterday and the day before. Man, we had this one interval, and I always call out to this person every single time. But there's this one account, and it's called Bleed Green, and he's a big Celtics fan. Shocker, right? Mm-hmm. And every <laughs> time he hops up in the space, I ask him, I say, "I." Right, so how far, how far are the Celtics going to make it this year? Because we already knew Brooklyn was going to be playing them first. There was no way I had the Cavs yeah. coming come and winning that. Mm-hmm. And he yeah. said, he said, my, this was his exact words, the Boston Celtics are going to sweep the East comfy. That's crazy. That's crazy he said <laughs> that. Not sweep. I do think they're going to be the Nets, though. Nah, I don't think so. No, I don't have. I don't. So I'm doing the bracket challenge right now. I actually have the. Oh my goodness. I have the Brooklyn Nets winning in six games. Against who? I, the I, Celtics? I, against uh, Celtics? Uh, wait, you mean coming out of the conference or against the Celtics? Um, Against the Celtics. Against the Celtics. My oh, okay, okay. I, I think the Celtics. I think the Celtics can beat them. Because. Really? Because unless unless Kyrie and Kevin just go off, I think the Celtics gonna win. You mean Kevin Defraud and Ramadan Kyrie? <laughs> <laughs> Ramadan Kyrie, that's Dude, hilarious. Ramadan Kyrie, my, he's another animal. Yo, would you rather have Ramadan Kyrie or untucked shirt Kyrie? Well, uh, you know, you look at the matchups and it's like. Tatum, Durant, and then it's like Marcus Smart on Kyrie. I mean, it's pretty fucking even, right? Oh, well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this Bleed Green uh, Celtics account, he said they're going to roll through the East comfortably. That's yeah, he said that. He said comfy. <laughs> and I was like, dude, they ain't going to be nothing comfy. When game two come around, homie's going to be pacing around in his living room, mm-hmm. gnawing at his fingernails. <laughs> I know. Kevin DeFrog <laughs> drop 40 on their heads. I mean, there's nothing comfy about the East, dude. No, there's not. Especially with the – like, he said that, like, the Nets were the only challenge in the East. When you still got yeah. the 76ers, the Bucks, and whatever other type team decides to go off. 
The Miami. Heat, too. And don't forget yeah. Heat. Don't forget Heat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Miami. Wow. I literally forgot the number one seed, too. Like, come on. I mean, you know, the East was better when the Knicks were going out West with a winning record. They came back with a winning record, you know? Their West road trip, you know? That's shit. Wow. Now, yeah, and then the, if like if you're an Embiid believer, I mean, if you believe in Embiid, they got a shot. No, but the oh, the, sure. the, the Eastern Conference got better. Yeah, I than, don't uh, trust James Harden. Yeah, but the Eastern Conference sure. is a lot better than what people think it is. It's, it's been the better it's conference deeper. for a while. Ever yeah, since sure. ever since the year that Kawhi went to the the Raptors and Jimmy Butler went to the Seventy Sixers, the East has been the better conference. Yeah, no yeah exactly. They've been getting way better they players. Won. For years, one thing I will the say about one. they were the weaker conference. Yeah, for years prior, they were the weaker conference. But I'm telling you, start of 2019 when Kawhi went to Toronto, that's when the East changed. Because if you look at the top of the East, they had Butler on the 76ers with Embiid and Simmons and Harris. They had Kyrie and Durant in Brooklyn. That whole conference switched up since back then. And the West well, got a lot that's weaker. Why Durant went to the East? I mean, nah, it's just the landscape changed, and then and then the young pups, yeah. the young pups in the East, aka Giannis, they were all maturing yeah. at the same time. They started no maturing, mm-hmm. and then even Jimmy Butler, he left, he left, um, he ended up going to Miami. Like the whole East changed, yeah. man. The whole landscape of it, it switched up. I, I was saying the one thing the Celtics got going for them, I think their bench going to help them. I don't, I don't think they'll get past, past the Bucks. But they got a chance with the Nets. I think so. Mm. Yeah. Just matchups, you know? Yeah. Like, if Marcus can kind of contain Kyrie somehow. Yeah. Like, that's who's guarding Kyrie, right? Like, Marcus Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't know what y'all seeing. I think Kyrie about to cook all. The Celtics are live. He's about, to add, he's about to add a little seasoning, a little sage on, on the Celtic players. <laughs> he's going to cook them niggas alive, bro. Tell you straight up, it's very possible, and they—they're the underdogs, so they have more motivation too. Even though they're higher in the standing, you know, they're an underdog. Mm-hmm. But I—I I don't know—I don't know what's up with Jason Tatum and Brown, man. I just don't fully believe in that duo like that. I feel oh. like I feel like most of the Boston fan base, and especially the, the large NBA media that's in Boston. They try to convince the rest of the league to fear those those guys, but nobody's buying it like that. Like the way they promote these guys is like, I'm like, yeah, they a nice regular season, but they're not really scaring nobody like that. Well, they're uh, kind of positionless. Like they can both switch on defense. God, I, man. Yeah, but yeah, but th- didn't they have good. problems against? They can them? both create. Yeah, offense. but they struggled to eliminate the Raptors in the bubble. With Pascal Siakam, yeah. like, and Kyle Lowry. That's a weird matchup because uh, the Raptors are kind of the same squad where it's, like, positionless. It's, like, what they're doing. It's just a bunch of guys that are big and fast and can handle and shoot and defend. Yeah, but, hey, they're telling us Jason Tatum and, and, and Jalen Brown, especially Tatum, they're telling us these are top guys in the league and they can't eliminate right. Kyle Lowry and, and Pascal. So what yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Like, the Raptors are way better than people think they are, though. They are. Like, as far as a team, like a cohesive team and coaching Mm -hmm. and everything. Like, they're better. Like, they had kind of a slow start to their season. but They, like, moved up from out of the playoffs into the the playoffs. And they're, like, what, a fifth seed or something? Yeah, they finished, like, fifth. They really finished strong. I don't hate the Raptors. Like... And I know it's like a, not a popular opinion, and a lot of people will say Jason Tatum's the easy answer. But like, who is the better player on that team? Is it Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum? Yo, but 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 to me, that's that's <laughs> bad. That's bad for Jason Tatum because to me, Tatum should be separating himself from Brown, but yeah, he's not. Like, but he's two not. Two years ago, I thought he was like an MVP, and he's only like twenty three. Yeah, but you don't think it's scary that Jason Tatum has still not separated himself from Brown? Like he should be leaping oh, yeah. far ahead. Yeah, I agree. Like, and but he's still young. He hasn't really matured like Giannis has. And, like, even KD took a while. Like, it takes guys sometimes a while to like really get it going. You know? Yeah, I, I agree with that. 
All right, predictions before the game starts. Who do we have coming out of this one? Do we have the San Antonio Spurs or do we have the Pelicans? Mm. Orange, go. The Pelicans. You got Pelicans. Patrick, who you got? Spurs. You got Spurs. Um, House, House of Hoops. Yeah, that's right. Man, I, I'm rooting for the Pelicans because they were so active during the season. Mm. Mm. Yeah, with that CJ Mullen pickup, too. But, but every time I bet against Pop, he fucks me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't go against the most winningest coach, man. Um, but I want the Pelicans. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, uh, Feedy, Feedy, I know you're not, uh, you're just a listener right now, but go ahead and give me a, go me, go ahead and give me a, a clappy hand for the Spurs. Give me a wave for the Pelicans. Uh, I hope, he, I hope he's listening. He may, he, you know, he just might be chilling. Ah, oh. you want them Pelicans? Yeah, right. the Pelicans look lit, man. Okay. So I, I have I have a lot of Texas blood in me, even though I don't live there anymore. But mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with the San Antonio Spurs tonight. They do got pop, yeah. but I, that's about my only reason in there. Yeah. Do the Hornets? Did the Hornets already play? Yeah. I, the I, I mean, uh, I, they didn't really uh, play, but sure, they kind of did. <laughs> I, I, I'm they really, lost, huh? I, I'm really, I'm really new one in in this in this kind of of chat. I am from Argentina. I oh, was okay, going, it makes I sense. I was going the the Charlotte game, and uh, and I'm very very hung, angry with with Borrego. She he he needs to be cut off the team. Yeah, and and, and I team? think that and and I think that the the play in sucks because it's really hard play only one game and suffer yeah. and suffer and we don't have anything anything to do we, mm. and it's only 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 one chance yeah really really that's a really interesting perspective i've heard a lot of i've heard a lot of positive things about the play in tournament but it's it's really refreshing to hear um something on the other spectrum of that it's really good thank you wow. thank you thank you for, thank you for the chance well, to talk with you guys yeah, no well, doubt. I'll tell you one thing about the play-in, man. It's like if you were a better team, you wouldn't be in it. So it's kind of like yes. a last chance to get in. If you are, if you are an irregular team, we suffer this. You you suffer this because uh, in in you have only one chance, or 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 at least two, if you are seed seventh or eighth. So oh. it's it's really difficult. If you are a solid team. Uh, yeah. You you will see the, in the first position, so you you are uh, in in good position to to fight for for the for the conference or for the NBA title. Yeah, but if your team is the team that makes it, then you're stoked about it because like you had an outside chance and then you make yeah. it because you you know. Yes. That's, it's, let's be honest, it's an anti-tanking mechanism. It's it's really frustrating for for me because we are watching the games for for at least 20, 20 years ago. So <laughs> I am I am the oldest guy suffering with the Hornets. I am with the Glenn Rice, Baron Davis, uh, PJ Brown, Muxy Bucks, yeah. Lonzo Morning. So <laughs> and we yeah. have some guys like this right now and. And um, what, what what are you fucking doing? Come on! I, s- I see your point. Charlotte probably deserved <laughs> to be in. Wow, yeah, they had a really... good season. Yeah, yeah. The season, the season, season. was 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 good because we have a, a, a lots of guys doing the best job and and doing well and playing. And then they get screwed at the end. Nice, yeah. nice basketball. Yeah, but but so irregular. So so irregular. Ooh. Well, you know, next year they'll probably fight to not be a playing in team. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's the next step is to not be playing team. <laughs> like fuck, dude. Like, all right, we don't want to be a playing team again. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. or or you can be like LeBron and the Lakers, and you can really say you don't want to be a playing team. <laughs> I mean, oh god. I mean, Jesus, man. Talk about untimely injuries, but you know that's yeah. what you get with an old squad. I, it's so upsetting too because I am a very new NBA um, fan and I've chosen 
because I normally only watch the NFL. But this time when I decided to pick up watching the NBA, I said, I'm only going to follow players, not mm. actual teams. So that way I don't get as butt hurt when my one sole team doesn't make the playoffs every single year. So I've chosen uh, LeBron as my number one of three players to follow. And it's so upsetting because he had such a... Uh, it really wasn't his fault, but, you know, it kind of was. And it's oh, so much back and forth, injuries and everything. Man, he might as well get the walking cane while you follow him, man. He said, <laughs> might as well get the walking cane. I hope he doesn't deteriorate anytime soon, but he's definitely at that point where if he did, I wouldn't be surprised. No, he already is. <laughs> he already is. Can't make the play-in, and you got two other players who made the all-NBA 75 on your squad? Come on, man. Come on. I have a feeling. I, that's actually really good that you bring that up because when I saw that Anthony Davis made the top 75, I was honestly quite shocked, um, to be honest with you. I almost wanted to say it was a little bit of recency bias, but I also didn't follow Anthony Davis throughout his entire career, so I can't say that I've watched the entire thing to know exactly all that he has contributed. It's like a seven-foot guard forever, you know? <gasps> like, that was his game. Mm. He's Mad nice, but stretch five. He's nice, but Anthony Davis would make this NBA seventy five, maybe like in four more years from now, with his stats. But mm. Mm. they just it's, it's it's you can tell it's politics, man. They they gotta they gotta promote the current day players too. That's that's the funny yeah. thing about this NBA seventy five. Except for Ramadan Kyrie, though, right? <laughs> yeah, Kyrie, Kyrie, Ky yeah, they weren't gonna put him on that list. It's political. Yeah, he said. He said, "I'll take a stance." They said, "Okay, hey, uh, Damian Lillard, we'll give you the 75. He said, "Damian Lillard." Yeah, I think Kyrie probably should have been on it because he won that title in Cleveland. Yeah, like, he won that title. <laughs> I personally think he probably should have been on that list. Some people are getting upset because uh, Dwight Howard also wasn't on the list. He should have been on there. I don't have an opinion on that. I yeah. really, I did not see Dwight Howard in his heyday. Uh, Dwight, all. nah. If you could just look at his numbers, he's he's first ballot Hall of Famer, off a of rip. He's a, he's an athlete. He's tall and athletic. Now nah, he he do, he dominated. He dominated so much. LeBron didn't make the finals when it's supposed to be LeBron versus Kobe. Dwight Howard ended up taking LeBron's spot. Wow. But he's not like a skilled basketball player. No, but he's, he's skilled enough to give LeBron issues. And, yo, he beat LeBron four games to two to get to the finals. They had a good team though. Yeah, but LeBron, LeBron, LeBron completely yo, they completely fucked that up. LeBron, the thing is when you have a big man in the paint that can protect the rim, LeBron seems to struggle with that. Mm. Are we talking yeah, about my, Orlando Dwight? Yeah. I'm sorry, I for, I can't uh, remember. My mic Dwight. got cut off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. But that, man, I don't know. yo, fuck it. Y'all see yeah. Zion? Zion's blinging on on on, <laughs> on court side, man. We're in a oh big ass chain. Uh, he knows he's on ESPN. <laughs> yo, where that street clothes be at? <laughs> so, sorry, guys. I, I I regret to interrupt you, but I say I have to say goodbye to everyone because I'm going to eat something. It's late here and. Yeah, I am hungry. <laughs> I am hungry yeah, too. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye. Thank, thank you for for the opportunity, guys, to talk with you. It was really, really nice. So I expect you to talk in in another case with you guys. All right, man. All right. I'm gonna send you a follow. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye. See you. Enjoy the games. Thank you. You too. Bye, bye. Yo, Zion looked like he stopped spending his Grubhub money, man, and started spending it on some bling. <laughs> Dude, one huge. thing that I love about Twitter is like, oh, man, Ingram. like there is just Ooh. no chill when it comes to Twitter. Absolutely, <laughs> Yo, there's not no chill. Like, it does not matter what situation it is. Man, someone could have died, and someone's still making fun of it for crying out loud. Like, oh my <sighs> goodness. Not that you're gonna find me making some making fun of someone that's passed away, but like just to. Just to show as an example that man, Twitter does not have any chill. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people on there. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of um, anonymous people. So, what is the status with Zion? Um, is he planning on coming back anytime soon this season or no? Yeah. What's that look like? Nah, the Pelican's totally been secret about it. Dude. 
Oh, yeah. Out. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, so I saw him, like, playing on the court a little bit. I'm, like, 20 seconds behind, and now I see him rocking the bling on the side. Yeah, yeah. He, he That's that Grubhub no money. Way. That's the Grubhub money right there, man. <laughs> you said the Grubhub money. Yeah, man. Look at that. that the shit. Pelicans take the lead, and Pop calls timeout immediately. <laughs> Pop calls timeout. So, the Hawks got clapped, huh? I mean... I would have said a little bit more than clap, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yikes. That dunk. Well, not the Hawks. I mean the Hornets, my bad. Yeah, oh, Hornets yeah, got... Man. Bro, they got blasted. Yeah. I mean, blasted. Is this the last year? I heard Gallinari had like a good season. Is this the last year on his contract? Does anybody know? Oh, I do not <laughs> Because that dude is so good when he's on a contract here. <laughs> yeah, he was killing before, and then Gallinari just slowed down, man. He said, fuck yeah. it, I'm paid, man. Yeah, He said, he I, Over I, and over. So, but, switching the conversation a little bit, because I'm very curious to hear opinions from, from everyone about this. In regards to the Los Angeles Lakers trash fire season, um, as they try and rebuild, who, if any, are they looking to pick up in the off season? A new GM. I got a second question for that. Hang on. Second question is who the hell's going to want to coach that team? Word. Oh no, yeah. Um, <laughs> forgot about that too. Yeah. We, <laughs> they they need a coach before they can get players. Like who's going to take that squad on after they fired the guy that won a championship two years ago? That is true. That is very but true. You win a championship and then you get fired two years later. Like, what is going on? When was the last time Pop won a championship? They ain't lifted a finger. Hey, there's some man. To a be fair, together. to be fair, that is a actually an unfair comparison given how many wins he has at the most. But yeah, I can but answer that question. Took, took, oh, hello. 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 Hey. Who's gonna who's gonna take the coaching job and the real players? I can answer that question about the Lakers. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. So, so I'm thinking the best way for the Lakers to go is Nick Nurse. Well, he's not what? He's not, not leaving Nick Toronto. Nurse. Why would he take that job? Why would Nick Nurse take the job? He just got extended two years ago in Toronto for his is personal he even life. Available for his personal life. <laughs> Like he has to get permission to be out. To let Word, out his exactly. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm sure the Lakers can make the money to pay out his contract. But I mean, oh. if you look at if you look at Nick Nurse, what he's got going in his personal life with his band, his private labels, it's a good market to go to LA for. He's not gonna get that in Toronto. Yeah, but where the fuck he's gonna find to time? Like, yo, that, yo, if he went to LA, to LA, he's not gonna have no time to be in no band, no personal labels. <laughs> Laker fans don't want to hear about that. It's either you're going for the ring or you're not doing nothing. But I, but you got to think about it, though. Someone like Nick Nurse, from where he's come from, like for him to be an assistant and then get the job to be the coach for Toronto, the Lakers, as much as the Lakers are in such a disarray, it's still the Lakers, guys. Come on. Nah, that but nah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I think it'll what probably about- be like Fizdale or some shit. <laughs> uh, what, what about... Doc Rivers, what are our thoughts on him? Away from that, please. Nah, Doc, Doc, Doc don't want the headache over there. It's going to be a coach that they could easily control, and LeBron is going to tell them what to do. They're not mm. going to get a real coach. They're going to get a, a crony. That's exactly what they're going to get as a coach. Like a, so? Fizdale. Mm-hmm. So Fizdale. Fizdale's going to be... <laughs> Fizdale's a perfect guy because he's a company man. If anything yeah. goes wrong, he's not going to say nothing. He's going to say what he has to say to make it look good. And he's going to collect the paycheck. He's still getting paid from the Knicks. He's still getting yeah. Knicks money right now. I can he see it happening, but money? who knows? Yeah, he's still getting paid from the Knicks. Who knows? Who knows who it'll be, man? I don't think it'll be like a young guy <laughs> that's like coming up out of the Popovich tree or anything. Nah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be, be a, like a croony ass coach. It's going to be Dan like a. Quinn? Mm-mm. It's gonna be like they they said they said they said Mike Brown the the guy who used to coach LeBron in Cleveland. Oh, uh, that's he, a good one. He's actually perfect. Mike Brown is good. That's a good one. That's a good candidate. That's a that's a where is he right now? Golden State. I don't know where he oh, at. Boy, man. Somebody's been. I think he's assistant know. at Golden State right now. That sounds right. That could be good for Lakers. 
Man, we just need it. They're gonna no. bring Luke Walton back. No, please, no. <laughs> He's one of the worst oh. coaches I've ever seen. Him, him, and Brian Scott, some of the worst coaches I've ever seen. Can you elaborate on that? Like, what makes him such a bad coach? I'm just curious. What the thought is? Well, Brian Scott, bad coach. Brian Scott, man, he'd be mad off base, bro. He hate playing young guys. He's like, yo, if I knew the yeah. Lakers was going to fire me, I would never play the young guys. I'm like, yo, your whole team is young. <laughs> Who the hell was you going to play? Kobe by himself? <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of uh, like said, Lionel Holland. He said his team was a foxhole or something. He said something. <laughs> Whoa, what? He said his team was like a foxhole. Yeah. He said oh, a God. foxhole. Man, he ever played with James Harden before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Harden. Yo, Harden is gonna get cursed out by Philly. Yo, Harden should not play in the East Coast. You cannot play in the East Coast, and you and, and you're sensitive. Him and Ben yeah. Simmons, get the fuck out They're of the not. East Coast. It's an effort thing too, right? Like, I don't know where y'all are based out of, but like uh, the East Coast seems like uh, it's it's got to be the effort has to be there, or you're getting fucked. Yeah, you're getting booed, man. It's the culture, yeah. man. It's the culture. Yeah, Boston, well, New enough. York, Philly. Yeah, I, I feel that. Did you guys see Stephen A's list about who's under the most pressure? Oh man, don't Stephen get A. Started. Stephen A. Probably put himself don't in that list. No, I mean Harden, I agree with, but like, hey, Kyrie has a ring. Like Clay has a ring. Dude, Wait. don't get me started on that. Okay, so in reference to the list, for those of you who are wondering and did not see it, yeah. Stephen A.'s list of players that are under the post most postseason pressure. This is a top five list. Number five is Clay Thompson. Number four is Jimmy Butler. Number three is Chris Paul. Number two is Kyrie, Ramadan Kyrie. And number one hmm. is James Harden. Wait, why is Clay Thompson on that list? Stephen A. Yeah, Smith is off. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Or Kyrie. Three rings. Three rings. Honestly, though, literally the only people that should be on this list are big <laughs> name players that have been here for a long time and don't win and have won a wing. You can say it, yeah. CP and, and Harden. That's it. Yeah, CP and Harden should be under pressure. Yeah, they equal that. pressure. I don't think it's one or the other. Seriously, has no excuse. He lost I, to a first game. I honestly, I who's still hear me out. Huh? I would, if we're making a list of top five, if we're making a list of top five, I would put Embiid down there, a little bit lower down on the list because he we're at the point. He is a very dominant player. He's very good. Homie might even win MVP. However, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't get a vote in that, unfortunately. <laughs> We're at the point where we need to start <laughs> seeing some, some, some winnings. Maybe, maybe a ring come from him as well. So I put him pretty low on that list as well. But he's got more time before we have to worry about him winning something. PG. Oh wow. Player P. Did oh. Oh, you mean pandemic P? Nah, he's not. Nah, he's not. He's not under pressure. He went to Clippers. Yo, he's not under pressure. Nah. He's not under pressure. Probably not. He's got wait, how? Wait, how? Depressed. Oh, yo, hold up. Westbrook. Why is he not on this list? Nah, he he didn't make the playoffs, man. I mean, playoffs. Not, yeah. Oh my goodness! Y'all I didn't still even... watch Stephen A? Word, yo, that's what I was thinking. Yo, I'm a very young NBA uh, fan, uh, like less than two years, so I'm a little behind. Oh, You'll wow. have to forgive me. Nah, man, he's a Sideshow Bob, Bob, man. He's a Sideshow Bob of NBA, man. I do also watch a bunch of speed yeah, I don't watch that shit. Many other shows to check out. Nah, man, Stephen okay, A. Smith. The whole shows are just centered around uh, the Lakers and what's going on with the Knicks. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's basically who fan base can we troll the most? That's it. That's ESPN. It's like yo, the ratings are the the analytics are telling us, hey, we can troll this fan base today. Let's troll them. Okay, I I shared the tweet in here so that way we can look at the list if anyone needs a reference. Yeah, no, it's a good conversation. I mean, that's why they did it. Some intern probably came up with the fucking idea. Stephen A. was like, who is under the most? <laughs> Word. Stephen, you know Stephen, Stephen, A. A. Stephen A. Smith wanted to put his name under that list, man. <laughs> he don't he don't come up with half of this stuff. He's got producers that tell oh, no. him, we're going to try this out. 
and you're going to run with it. And he said, okay, I get more attention. I'll take it. Yo, Skip and Shannon. He that's... When he mentioned about Max, I think he, some said that there was rumor that he was jealous or something, but he said he just needed a new direction. He couldn't work with Max no more. I don't know why. Uh, when was Terrell Owens went on the show once, and when he and he said something racially. Oh my goodness! Are we talking no, about the way no. he said Stephen A? Wait, wait he said Max was blacker than Stephen A. And then, then Stephen A. <laughs> T.O. said that shit. <laughs> yeah, T.O. really said that. <laughs> so he goes to him. Uh, Stephen A. said to him, "Hey, you let me know the time, and I'll be there." Then he tried to get all, like, you know, I didn't you know, tough, you, tough I guy didn't, shit. I didn't know he actually got like that offended by it. No, you have to go see Max's face though. Max looked like he was petrified. Like, oh shit! Like, you want to get that? <laughs> like, nah. Steven is like, let me get this. Let me get this. You. I feel bad. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad Max didn't say nothing. He shouldn't have said nothing. Yeah, Max. I'm, Max should have kept quiet on that. Yeah, and he did. He did. Good call on him. Like, honestly, I just personally don't think Max deserved to be pushed out because. I know he has some goofy takes. We all know his most obvious one with Iguodala. But, like, he, I mean, he, he was good. He was fun. And now that he's gone, I kind of miss him. Even though he's, he's still not as bad as Ryan Collins. Oh, yeah. man. Don't you get me started. Man, he's oh, not, he's not bad as uh, Nick Wright, man. Holy shit. Oh, my oh, God. Wright, don't get me started. He's a LeBron. He's a LeBron. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. I don't love get LeBron. get me started. Man. But man, I don't think I could love him that much. <laughs> yeah, yo, Ryan Collins, where the fuck did they find that asshole? Who? Ryan Collins, where did they find him at? I don't know. Man. My man got some of the worst takes I've ever seen, man. It's almost like he don't even watch NBA. He just comes in and just starts doing shit. I'm just hoping that one day someone at ESPN is going to recognize my TikToks and they're going to say, hey, you want to come on for a day? We gonna have you with uh, Stephen A. Smith sitting in this chair with a cane and a freaking uh, <laughs> mobile wheelchair and whatnot. We gonna have you say something. I'd be like, I right, this is my big break, fellas. <laughs> Y'all were talking about t- uh, players under pressure to win, and this isn't really fair because it's not a player. But what about the whole team of the U- like the whole setup in Utah? Like, oh, how much my- pressure is there um, for them to win? Well, get to the there's a lot of press, and they may have their work cut out for them because it doesn't look like Luca's gonna be doing much, right? But like, so, if they don't get to the Western Conference Finals, it's kind of like, like how how many years have they been saying like we're the team to beat? Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, What's sad is they, like, all right. in order for them to even get to the Western Conference Finals, they gotta go to Phoenix, like. Yeah. Like, sure, maybe they get lucky and they don't choke against Dallas only because of the sole fact that Luka's not there. But right. once they get to Phoenix, I'm sorry, guys. Where's the Suns and Four guy at again? <laughs> it's just, a, it seems like a lot of pressure, and they're like holding that team together kind of by a thread, it seems like. Like, they keep running it back. But, like, at a certain point, like, where are they going to be like, well, it's not working? Hear me out. If they don't get to the Western Conference Finals this year, either Rudy Gobert or, um, oh my goodness, Mitchell, one of them, they're going to be gone. They will, they will not be able to keep it together. There'd be no reason to. Well, they got to get better supporting cast. Like, Ingles was actually, like, a really good glue guy for them. But he, he got hurt. His knee blew out. So they're lacking that playmaking uh, wing player, you know, so they got to get more like positionless guys, supporting cast guys around Mitchell and Gobert, maybe. Like Royce O'Neal is not the guy. So wait, who they gonna get though? Exactly. So, that's like, big, that big question. Yeah. You got you got to convince somebody to come into Mormon Utah Jazz Town. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's that's a tough well, sell. Come to Utah. Yeah, that's a tough sell. Like, and maybe Dwayne Wade can step in there. And Yo, why is Dwayne Wade in Utah, man? Things. Man, man, I think. And man, if I was an NBA player and someone said, come to Utah, 
we got so much to do that i'd be like you know what you right there's so much to do in utah man this man i could sit and go to the salt flats I mean, sightseeing you know, salt flats they do have that young, like energetic, young, own, like new team governor or whatever you want to call it. He is like a young guy, but he is like a white Mormon as well. So it's like weird. Uh-oh. Word. Uh-oh. Come see my many wives. <laughs> it's that weird. Is I'm it's just like gonna, let I'm just gonna throw in. it out there. Dallas in six. <laughs> Dallas, Dallas and Sid. See, here's the thing. What? Wait, wait, yeah. Luca. Luca no, might Luca. not play. We gotta have Luca. Luke, Luca no one's Dallas wearing a boot. Six. No. See, here's the thing, man. I would not be shocked if Dallas pulled away without Luca, just solely on the fact that Utah beat every single time in the. Playoffs. That's exactly why they just I mean, can't do it. Good. Like they just can't also. Do it. The, and the, the only reason why I'm Spencer picking Dwindle Dallas Wayne. in six is Luca really is not going to play game one. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, the only is, reason. Uh, is Spencer Dwindle oh. Wendell playing? Yep. Okay. Spencer Dwindle, man. Dwindle, <laughs> Dwindle Wiki, he's playing. Dwindle Window. <laughs> Dwindle Window. Yo, I, yo I, I'm going to call him that because that dude be trolling. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, man, he be trolling yeah, certain teams. Anyone excited to watch the Memphis Grizzlies and the Timberwolves? With Yo, that, that, that series is gonna be turned up, uh, yeah. turned Bro, up all I'm the way. From Memphis, how's the hoops Yo, from Memphis? Edwards, <laughs> Yo, 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 we got a Memphis, we got a Memphis one in Memphis. Right. I got a sweat. I got to know. We, we're thinking, we're thinking brooms, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. You thinking brooms? You just yeah. black ass playing yeah. team. <laughs> really? I but think look, I'm dead look, too. Minnesota's no joke, man. Anthony <laughs> Edwards is no fucking joke. Yeah. And and they beat Memphis by like forty in a regular season. It was crazy. Mm. So House of Hoops. I mean this with all due respect. I have so. the I have Memphis going. I have Memphis winning in six games. I've got them mm. winning six. That's just me. Hey, they're young. They're young. Yeah. And uh, no, and see, that, that's it, actually the reason why. And I believe it was <clears> just, <throat> oh, man, even just one and more year, and maybe just one more piece, I'd say they have the title championship in the bag. Nah. That's kind They'll of make a, a good run. Thing. Yo, if Luca plays, they, Luca's winning that shit. Let me tell that's you the true. thing about Memphis. The, the fact thing that is... they're that good and that young. Yeah, that's the scary thing about Memphis. It's like maybe what if this is the best squad they can get, and the best squad they can get is all young guys, because at a certain point they're gonna start having to pay all these guys. That's true. And, and it's like they're gonna lose their depth. So like, what if they peak too soon? Wow. Ah, I don't be- believe in John Morant. Oh I'm, yeah, listen. I'm, I'm you know, Jaw's gonna be your cornerstone. You've got him. You will yeah. not lose him. Um, yeah. with, with Stephen Adams, he's old though, right? Yeah, he's no, old. Nah, he's like twenty-seven, dude. Twenty-seven. That's pretty old. Oh, That's pretty I know. old. He, he I know. was drafted Steven in twenty twelve. He's not. Yeah. Really? Okay, never mind. I nah, take that. He, wow. He's old. Is the so, beard? The guys, but they could lose. They could lose Kyle Anderson and Tyus Thomas over the summer. And that depletes a lot of bench, man. Well, if and they make a good run, ooh, no. people want to stick around. See, if cooking. these guys, if these guys were 25, 26, I'd be like, hell yeah, they're gonna fucking dominate. But they're all like 23 and 24, 22, 21. Like they're young and they just don't have the experience. I think that this playoff series, this playoff I mean, run, will be a good keep experience. Job. But you want to keep, yeah, they'll definitely do Brandon that. Clark. I'm now, just worried that maybe he's not. I'm just young. worried that this team is so good. Like this team is deep, mm-hmm. and I'm worried that they're too young mm-hmm. to like take advantage of it. Let's see, Memphis. Memphis. Oh, I mean, no, I was gonna say they don't, I don't have know. playoff experience. I, I think only Steve and Adams and maybe or Kyle Anderson. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were in the playoffs last year, and they won a couple games against Utah first mm-hmm. round. Yeah, but they're still too premature, you know. I don't know, oh, man. Sorry, guys. I just feel like I just feel like all season everybody has been saying that about Memphis. Like they're just so young, they're so true from mature, yeah. and they end up being like, they end up being like what second second in the West. And they got good coaching. And they got good coaching, and it's just been like Jai was what number one in points in the paint. 
Like, yeah. everybody yeah. has just been doubting them all season. I don't see how it's going like to that. change. And they like they it. Like they like that. They love it. They, yeah. They remind me of 2017 Spurs, dude. Low key. <laughs> Those they guys do not care. They don't care. They, they, they like, care. been calling out anybody. Anybody. Yeah. They, they, they remind care. me of the 2017 Spurs. 2017 Spurs. Because that, that team uh, was low key godlike. Wait, the wait, 2017 Spurs? Or are you talking about the. Yeah. Like, oh, nah, you talking about the 2014 Spurs. Spurs? No, no, the 2017 Spurs. No, everybody. No, I'm talking about sleepers. The, 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 oh, it's sleepers. The Spurs oh, that way. The early 2010s were not slept. Wait, you talking about the Spurs where they stepped on Kawhi's foot and he got hurt in that playoff yeah. series? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, were, I know bro, what you're talking about. On the now. way to another final. Like, yeah, they were. Yeah. But okay. they're a lot younger as a group. <clears throat> There's really not a lot of veteran leadership on that squad. They've been there and done that. Yeah. That's like, no, but that's why. But we're just watching. As Miffians, like, everybody's really excited. And uh, they believe in the team. That It's like a very uh, light atmosphere. The team and the coach, like, they're all about having fun and just going out there and hooping. But in a series, that kind of changes. Uh, the games slow down, you know. Guys, uh, guys can get kind of blinded by the bright lights. They haven't been yeah. there. They haven't done it. Man, they seen it. The only person that's Pressure. blinded by the bright lights tonight is Zion with that bling. I'm telling <laughs> you, man, he's spending that Grubhub money. Yeah. Yo, Zion. Every time uh, we've seen him, he's wearing sweats. He's wearing mad big ass shit now. He's wearing a suit, tight fitted, with a big ass <laughs> chain. I'm telling you, man, he stopped spending his money on Grubhub, man. He finally got smart and started spending on some bling. He knows he's on TV. The Grizzlies. Uh, the he made money thing. off that Grubhub sponsor. <laughs> that last, uh, that last game of the season, the Celtics Grizzlies game, like the Grizzlies benched everybody. They didn't start any fucking starters and uh Jaron Jackson and John ja Morant were all blinged out on the fucking bench <laughs> I, I hate to speak on this great. but I ran into another Celtics fan today Yo. this is like the fifth I can't Celtics wait for Brooklyn to beat them man <laughs> I talked to today talk about hey you score 54 points maybe y'all won by six <laughs> very <Marriage. laughs> Stop it! Y'all want to bring up? Y'all want to bring up the play-in versus nothing cap? Y'all barely beat nigga. You beat us by six, and, and Tatum was scoring like eighty-five on us, and y'all still bet. Stop talking, man. Please. Kyrie gonna cook them up. <laughs> I think, it's, I, I think that's the crazy. series. That's that's the series of the playoffs. Yeah, it's gone. Kyrie's going to lucky cook them up. Time Lord, but I can yeah, time Lord. see Ime Udoka. Setting up plays like, yeah. well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta trap Bruce Brown. But guess what? He could just pass it to Drummond for an easy dunk. Udoka is a good coach. And I, I would not. He was an assistant coach for for Brooklyn. I, I know that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, ro- uh not Robert Williams. Oh uh, yeah, Robert Williams was so instrumental on defense for them. It's kind of a yeah. huge hole. And they've been filling it with that Grant Williams dude a little bit and Tice. Tice is all right, but it's, uh, I mean, look, look big hole. Celtics, like so, uh, the fans, they they're fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry, they just don't know. Y'all really they just love their Y'all team. really gonna settle on 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 thirty five year old Al Horford? I think it's like Katie and Kai. Are you serious? Let's go Hawks! <laughs> but uh, but yeah. I like that John Collins in Atlanta. <laughs> Let's go, uh, man! John Collins is hurt tonight, but we still we still got the uh, the Hornets yep. like shit. Yeah. You know what? I ain't gonna say nothing about the next Celtics too. I'm just gonna relish these days until <laughs> the series comes. I'm just gonna relish these last few days of uh, Celtics fans. I'm just gonna relish. Them. <laughs> nah, Ky- Ky- Kyrie. I'm telling you, man. Kyrie's gonna sprinkle some sage on them, cook them up real nice. Ramadan, Kyrie. You, <laughs> Yeah, Ramadan Kyrie. 
So that's like a big rivalry thing, New York and Boston already, huh? And it's well, like no, no, that's not the rival, man. Beef, Brooklyn bro. don't have that type of history. The rival is Kyrie, like, Kyrie versus the Celtics. That's the rival. I just mean like Yankees, Red Sox, like Boston. Yeah, but that's or, different. Like, that's like, different. We talking about the Nets. <laughs> we talking about the Nets that been in Jersey. They don't have they don't have history like that. The rivalry is uh, Kyrie, I mean, no, Sage Kyrie true. versus Boston. That's pretty much it. For them old ass yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. the I only that thing that Ramadan Kyrie hates more than the vaccine is the Boston Celtics. Mm-hmm. Mm. LeBron. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and LeBron. That's a close, that's a close second. LeBron. <laughs> that's a close second. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Yo, oh man, <laughs> we all hate LeBron, though, right? Uh, I'm gonna have to disagree with that. I don't hate him, man. I'm just kind of annoyed, man, with him at times. He's I'm like, a LeBron hater, but I'm not delusional. I know how good LeBron is. I just don't like him. He's good. He's just a Kyrie. drama queen, man. That's fair. That's it's fair. Kyrie does not like getting along with others very well. I think. Nah, I wouldn't say that. A lot I of play- hard for a lot of players show Kyrie. Kyrie love, man. Y'all bugging. No, I'm bugging. He man. said, "I am bugging." Uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm going. Okay, good. good. No, definitely. That's but good. Okay, I'm saying it because everywhere he goes, he's not fucking happy. Nah, yeah. like nah, you don't know that. You don't know that. He just keeps um, leaving. Bro, the only place I'm Kyrie ever got to that. choose is Brooklyn. That's the only place he ever right. got to choose. He got traded to Boston. He got traded to Boston. He got drafted to Cleveland. Fair enough. Whatever this is he wanted and to And then, do, yo, peep this. Cleveland time. lied to him. They signed him. They never told him LeBron was coming. Uh oh. I remember that. I, re- I remember that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he would have ever resigned knowing that LeBron was coming. So, so you don't think I heard LeBron left Cleveland and Cleveland said Cleveland was down with it. Like, go ahead and leave. We'll be bad for about four years. We're obviously not gonna Nah, be nah. They was not down with that, man. You're I thought that was a there was no way. They're it. not down oh. with that. Nah, they was not down no. with that. They lost money, man. A lot. Yeah, they lost a lot of money. They're bugging. Ain't nobody down with that. Oh um, no. Yeah, I heard. I heard Dan Gilbert's net worth was like minus two hundred million when LeBron dipped out. Oh, that motherfucker was God. so mad. He was so yeah, mad. man. <laughs> nah. Whatever. Kyrie about trash. to get his revenge, all- boy. I, I forget about to come this week. in the league if LeBron was on. I'm gonna be honest. I live in Columbus, Ohio, and that is just facts. <laughs> like, like I can't, I can't even believe Kevin Love is still in the league. He's, he's not bad, but I just can't believe that he's still there. I don't, I don't know. He's a max contact. Would you leave that? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't leave it. I'm saying I can't believe Cleveland that. Like, I, yeah, I can't believe right. Cleveland gave K Love that. Like, that's the type of shit Bron does. The time. I mean, like, like who else were they gonna, gonna give something to? LeBron? You a man? That's like uh, <laughs> title, title time when he got that next deal. Yeah, Lick I don't know. They, they would have been better off just letting K Love go. I mean, I don't. I, I guess it's whatever. They're in the playoffs now, so. But it's Trey Young about to eliminate them, so. I felt like he probably. Team except my But who the hell is that? Orange oh, cookies. I told you last night my hearts are gonna do it, man. Hmm. Yeah, hawks are pretty good. I was a little surprised that they came out and punched Charlotte in the face like that. Did you see? Uh, I do do go Bridges with. Not Bridges threw his mouthpiece at that girl's face. Yo, Bridges, yo, Bridges was yeah. trying to knock a fucking fan out, man. The fan didn't even realize it. Bridges swung uh, at nah, him. Nah, he, he tweeted it. He tweeted it. That dude in the yellow hat? Hand. Nah, there was a fan up in the stands when Bridges was going through the tunnel. The fan was just so hyped to be on camera. He didn't realize Bridges swung at him and completely missed. I was like, Bridges is bugging. <laughs> Yeah, he's got Everybody, control that shit. Draw that your attention to the Jumbotron. This is the kind of shit I'm looking at. I, I'm always looking at shit like this. I like, can't stop looking at delusional tweets like these. It's fucking with my brain. But you know, I'm just happy. I'm very happy. 
these last two days, I'm gonna relish it. What we talking about the Celtic fans? <laughs> God, look at the jumbo tried. <laughs> Someone said Tatum is top one with the players under twenty five. What? So Luka Doncic is doesn't exist. I'd have to see the list, but I know Luca's better. There's plenty of people better than him under 25. Hey, I yeah. just want to add on to the delusional Celtics fan. There's one guy <laughs> said that Peyton Pritchard is the best shooter in the league because he makes huh? 21 out of 21 from <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is That's the same guy, I think. That's crazy. Uh, T-Book. Jo- uh, D book is definitely better than Tatum. Yo, if they have to convince you a player is nice, sure. he's really not nice. I feel like the whole league has been trying to convince us Jason Tatum is that guy. Bro, I think a lot of people sleep on DeJounte Murray. Yeah. I could agree with that. But that man can't who he's a triple double machine, bro. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like the distance between Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown is the same. It's like they're not separating Yo. themselves. Do we got the squad in here? We got Cavs number one. We got Mouth. We got a pimp named Brokebuck in here too. Hello. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> oh, good. Rep your shit. <laughs> I mean, you got Trey Young, got John Moran. You know. Mm-hmm. Lamelo, um, I mean, damn near. He might be uh, a good player in the next few, like a superstar in the next few years. Yeah. Oh. Donovan Mitchell too, but that's debatable. Jared Allen yeah. too. One of the yo. Uh, did did we just dare a bleed green tweet up in here? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm oh. telling. You. It's getting comfy in this here. This is fucking stupid. Dude, I can't. <laughs> this guy. This is why I'm smiling through it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't help it. We're we going to be smiling a lot more after game four. <laughs> when is when is game one between the Nets and the Celtics? Sunday at Saturday. Saturday. Oh, Saturday? oh man, I'm going to be planted in front of my elite. No, fans. No, it's on Sunday. No, nah, it's on Sunday, yeah. Oh, it's, it's on, on Sunday? Oh, it's on East? They play on Easter? Yo, ABC. ABC, I'm on the streaming service after I'm done egg hunting. Marcus Smart, Defensive Player of the Year? I can't wait. I mean, I just, we'll see. We'll see in the game one. You talking about some Celtics? Okay, you saw that, junior. That, that Hawks game, the Hornets game? Anyone saw that shit? Yes. Sir, how, how much that award is worth in game one when he clamps up a seven foot and one of the best uh shot makers yo they gotta buy their coach that's all i'm saying they gotta really buy their coach see that's nice garbage don't get me wrong he's garbage he really hey, i don't i don't I think he's garbage say that hawks i don't think he's garbage uh, at all. game was rigged um <clears throat> the refs through that game uh, for the home team, they just wanted the oh home in the playoffs. Nah, nah, that was the, uh, for the ratings. Uh, the the Hornets really should have won that game. No, nah, man, they got their ass bust. Nah, yeah, man. Busted. Yo, Michael Jordan was too busy promoting Miles Bridges' mixtape, man, on their Twitter. Nah, feed. I'm gonna keep it very real with this <laughs> nah, game. I, he I played the regular season rotation in a playoff game. I I, I was like, why is Mason Plumlee playing? Why you have him on the court? You making plays for him in the first quarter. Shooting uh, three and free throws left-handed. <laughs> having Jalen McDaniels. Jalen McDaniels playing a big part of the fourth. Not giving you, your young players any minutes to see if you had anything except Mason Plumley. Yeah. Montrez Harold not getting any major minutes with LaMelo. Even though LaMelo was off tonight. You then side that third quarter. They lost that third quarter. You decide to have LaMelo off. Terry Ruggie on the court for Isaiah Thomas. Then fucking everyone decides to iso ball. And they like they they go. Well, I think the the Hawks go on like a 43, 20 something run in the third. Yeah, Whatever. man, Lamelo needed Michael Jordan to suit up. Mm-hmm. Nah, man, he had a fucking he had a terrible fucking game in the first quarter, like first in the first half. And, and I then, watched Lamelo talk shit with the 
these three guys sitting courtside the entire game, and those three guys definitely won the shit talking. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. Just, I don't know why Lamelo be entertaining that. He does that all the time. I, he was entertaining it. He hit a three when they were down thirty, and like point, did the did the ice in my main. Shit. I swear they're to God, he used to get himself slapped for that. You Pretty saw good. that shit. Yeah, the fans were just like, "What the fuck, bro?" And You'll then they be- were like dunking like 10 seconds after the whistle blew and it was just like but the hawks killed them in second chance points man <laughs> i was like Mason, like miles bridges didn't even jump one time and missed them. they didn't take advantage of a trey young bad offensive game yes. they, le- they legitimately allowed everyone to get second chance buckets i still like the coach Rago, i'm blaming him majority everyone's gonna be like well they just had a bad shooting night adjust i've seen every other coach adjust to their lineups that they see something's working. You notice Mason Plumley has not done nothing for you in the first quarter, and you still start him in the second. Ah. Well, look at this. DeAndre Hunter went 7 or 8 from the field in the what quarter is this? Third quarter had 16 points in the third quarter. And then Trey had 14 points in the third quarter. Yeah, they scored 42. And and you know what's funny? The, the, the minutes yeah. that Trey and LaMelo have, they look the same. But you notice... Right. Nate McMillan didn't take didn't tr- take Trey Young for having a bad game. He played a full duration of minutes. This dude in a playoff atmosphere pulls out Lamelo in the five, in six minute mark in the first quarter for some apparent reason, so the offense could be run by Terry Rozier. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. I just coach was scared. I just found a tweet with some of the most like cold, coldest pictures in the NBA. I mean, look at them. Look at all four of these. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. But look how cold all four of these, man. man. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Imagine, imagine if Pat Lev wants a <laughs> One of these is not like the other. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God oh, damn it. But not according to Pat Beverly. Soft ass clippers. Incredible. <laughs> oh, man. blood, sweat, and tears, right? Yeah. <laughs> yo, Miles Bridges. Yo, Miles Bridges really threw his mouthpiece at, at a woman. That? <laughs> yo, that girl's about to get paid, oh, bitch. Yeah, he hit her right in the fucking Squidward. face with it, man. He's got to control that shit. Who knows what that dude in the yellow hat said? But he's got to like grow from this. He's got to be better. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. He's throwing shit in the fans. That shit looks bad. Five, okay? Oh, why sell teams in five? Hey, you preacher! Shoot all his motherfucking free throws, okay? <laughs> Marcus Smart uh, rolled Curry's ankle and he kicked. Clay Thompson in the face in one play. Marcus Smart. We need more of this voice. Damn, this game's Miles. a lot closer than I thought it would be. Yo, my, my only understanding is that like, why is Miles it. Bridges about to demand a max contract and then he does this dumb shit? Mm-hmm. That's not going to help his Tony, case. Uh, He's so versatile, man. Didn't he? I saw leave him his, in... He's got child support, right? My bad. <laughs> he got child support That's payments. So <laughs> That's why he's asking for a max. <laughs> Didn't he fuck his Hell. wife over for Washington? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's his deal. No, that's PJ. That's PJ Washington. Oh, that's PJ Washington. Man, he yeah. better not. Next time, he better go OJ <laughs> on that person. Nah, but he's asking for thirty-four million. Miles Bridges. Nah, asking Miles Bridges, thirty-four million, 34 million to dunk. I was at the fucking uh, early in the season the Charlotte Grizzlies game and I saw Miles Bridges embarrass Jaron Jackson Jr. Man, yeah, man. Good player, dude. He's player. good, but like I just feel like he's in a bad position because yeah. he has to play bigger than himself because of these lineups. Right. Yeah. Mitch Kupchak. Mitch Kupchak is a fraud. For uh, Charlotte should not pay him. I mean, they. Uh, I, mean, I, I kind of have to. Bro. I think they should, <laughs> but they need to market. trade Rozier. They need to trade Gordon Hayward. Plumlee needs to get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah, Jalen McDaniels, really Cody go. Martin, they're gone. Yeah, they need that to whole rock a little bit. They could retool it. What, what about Kelly sure. Oubre Jr.? 
Like, shit, they don't even use Kelly Oubre nah. anymore, so you might as well give him up. That dude is trash, man. Blowing kisses to no, the yeah, crowd, no man. disrespect. He's trash. Get back on defense. Stop Oubre. blowing kisses. Yeah, no, nah, Kel- like, Kelly Oubre Jr., man. Overrated. Yeah. He's goofy. He's like, he's like a swaggy P type. Wait, who, like who are you saying you're overrated? Kelly Oubre, Oubre Jr. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing. I, yeah. I haven't thought Kelly Oubre was good ever since he went over like 40 in Golden State. <laughs> you know yeah. Uh, like Jalen, there's a reason go. He needs to play with his brother. There's a reason Minnesota. they got rid of him. Yeah, bro. Like, how can you not score in Golden State? Uh, Golden State, bro. Like, they let him go on purpose. You know, it wasn't. He's a, a goofball, bro. <laughs> he doesn't know how to operate. If if he can't make a pass, he's gonna look. He's just the bucket guy, and not even great at that. Man. That's, yeah, that dude would rather somebody, blow somebody kisses. Wrote yesterday, uh, somebody called the Andre Drummond Kareem. Oh. <laughs> And then to what? Kareem Abdul Drummond. Oh, but yeah, Kelly, man. Kelly Oubre is like he was just the most cool dunks on but, TikTok and shit. Yo, he shouldn't deserve this much slander because I Jalen McDaniels was playing a lot before it wasn't really Kelly. So why did he get thrown out? Why did he get thrown out? Yeah, like but that? why didn't he play? Because the coach has this in love affair with the idea of defense, so he thinks Cody Martin and Jalen McDaniels offer that. But as you see, that shit is not happening. Yeah. Like I remember, I'm watching Lamelo kick it out to Jalen McDaniel, and instead of Jalen McDaniel shoot for a three, he pumps fake like someone's guarding him, and then drives into a whole two guys taking away the advantage. Can we agree Hayward has the worst contract, one of the worst in the league? Yo, he gets yeah. too much credit, man. I'm just from the media. He gets a lot of credit from the media, bro. Who gives him stuff. credit? I think no, he's I, a good dude to have around, though. Hey, he's not. He's, really not that shit since he's made. I don't think he's, he's, he's not like a bad guy. No, he's not a bad guy. But like, no. Just an injury. Thirty around. million though. You're talking about no, no, no. Gordon has Hayward. not done a thing since Utah. No, no, no. He was no. Gordon Hayward was doing his thing in the first season for the Hornets, but they had to overpay. So. Man, they're the Hornets. You got to oh, overpay yeah, to get people. Exactly. You know why he was exactly. doing his thing in the first season in the Hornets? Is because they were putting Devontae Graham next to him, and they were forced in certain situations. Like that's all. Yeah, but when you Michael Jordan, you and the Hornets, you got to overpay to get free agents. Yeah, same thing here, man. We got. But like, no, or just tank. They could have just. They were. There were generational draft was right there. Instead of paying Gordon Hayward, who was looking like shit when he was in the Boston bubble. Yeah. Just tank. Yeah, Michael Jordan's gonna tank. I mean, you could have got Kate. You could have got. Come on, dude. <laughs> we started with. Yeah. Three. He's, yeah, he's, he's gonna fine with that. He got that Nike money. He got and that now Nike. we are yeah, at nine. Cool. We're slowly <laughs> growing. It's just gonna be like school. It's just weird for a little while. MJ. Imagine that. That's cool, man. We'll just lose. All our fans will disappear. Because they don't have a great fucking fan base in the first fucking place. Yeah, the Hornets can't really... Aff- uh, they can't afford to just be losing on purpose. Nah, they cannot. <clears throat> I saw what happened in Memphis, another small market, when they lost in the OJ Mayo era. Oh, yeah, that was... OJ yeah. Mayo... The fans fucking oh, disappeared. Yeah, man, OJ balling out in Shanghai right now. <laughs> I bet he is. Yeah. Yo, let me ask you a question. Can anybody in Shanghai, can they actually dunk? <laughs> Next year, they'll have someone. His name is Russell Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit. He's going to be getting triple doubles out there. You're, you're going to love life in Europe. I mean, look at Steph Marbury. He never came back. China. <laughs> Did somebody say it. Russell Westbrook? <laughs> yeah. I love whenever he said, like, no one fucking called me that anymore, and then Magic Johnson did it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, I don't know if that was, like, you should see me at his face. He's like, what? It's like, would you just say that? Uh oh, Russ next season. Oh no. I don't know, man. He can come back 
doubled down, motivated. Who knows what he does? Oh, the Pelicans are going, going in. Westbrook doing one day of an X. Y'all watching the game? The Pelicans going in right now. Let's go, Pelicans. Honestly, I like if Minnesota and, and the Pelicans have like a college. And Keldon Johnson ain't doing shit out there. No? Nothing. Yeah, what's his problem? He's probably like a couple years away from developing into who he's supposed to be, huh? Mm. Kelvin, I like Kelvin Johnson. Man. He only he's plays like, good. He only puts up damn. numbers when Dejounte's out. Come I'm hyped for the bro, like, series, man. We got we got a game on Saturday, man. Hopefully, we can redeem ourselves. <clears throat> I do like the Pelicans because they made an effort to win. Now, you know, well, the Clippers just tumbled. They just tumbled in. That's the Lakers. Which I love. <laughs> Brandon Ingram, like he's a baller. He ain't playing much defense, bro. The Lakers should have made it, man. It should have been a Lakers Pelicans. Yeah. I cannot believe the Lakers actually didn't make the playoffs. I thought like the league would make sure it happened. I just Dude. couldn't believe it. Tough schedule. Tough schedule. Dude, that's like all I thought about last week was like, what the fuck? Like, you know, it, was like, it was on my mind all the time. It's kind of a thing, but the Luka injury was just really, that's a gut punch. Yeah. Uh, Lakers had injury problems all year, and, they, and I think they felt like they, like, we'll come around, we'll come around, and they kept yeah. being like, all right, we'll get it together, we'll get it together, and like, it just didn't happen. AD comes and back, and then he goes down. Right. AD comes back and goes down, like, Cool they were like, "Oh, it's cool." Yeah. Yeah, but look yeah, at the, look at the teams that are in that, that. Look at the teams that are in yeah, the play-in. Right? These two teams that are in the play-in right now, not even that good, but they're better than the Lakers. That's the crazy shit. That's the crazy yeah, shit. The you really got to look at like the Lakers are yeah, more yeah. trash than these two teams right here. Well, you put a hundred and fucking twenty million dollars into three players, you're, you ain't gonna have much money left for the bench. I and mean, then Kendrick Nunn never played. I'm not saying he would have saved the season, but, like, he never fucking played. Why did KD bring him up? So that was so whack. Yeah, but name one player off the Spurs besides DeJounte Murray. We don't even know these guys. But they still have a better Josh record the than the Ford. Lakers? Like, what the fuck? Um, Josh Richards. Yeah, Lonnie Walker. Man. Uh, got Yaku. Lakers. Lonnie Walker? Are we, are we, are we, are we serious? Um, Lonnie Walker? Got- Come on, <laughs> son. Jones. Josh you got Jones Anthony Jones Davis, Jones. LeBron James, yeah, and Russell Westbrook. You gonna name Lonnie Walker? That's crazy, son. Uh, Keldon Johnson. Keldon Johnson. And that's all I can think of. I think Keldon will be good in the next like three years, like two to three years. Like he's gonna turn it on. I think. Um, I believe in pop. And Spurs might win this one. They might squeeze it out. Yeah, nah, man. They're trash. Both both of these teams are trash. The Lakers were even worse. Yeah. They need two teams. I mean, that's a that's why they're in the play-in. That's that's the saddest part. The Lakers are on the bottom of these two teams, underneath the fucking gums of their souls. And the West was a lot weaker than the East this year too. The West was so much easier to make it this year than the East was. <laughs> and they still didn't make right, it. They still couldn't do it. <sighs> Tell me, the man, Lakers, that should, shit the says Lakers a lot. should have kept Kuzma, brought in DeRozan, Kuzma, and let Caruso walk. <laughs> Bro, Kuzma is. Not that bad, bro. No, nah, okay. wait a minute. He's better than Carmelo. He's better than Carmelo. He's better than Carmelo. Yeah, today I agree with that. He's better than Carmelo today. Yeah, for sure. But he can't be as good with LeBron on that squad. Nobody's anyone. Even. The Ro- the Rosen the Rosen wouldn't be the Rosen if he was playing with LeBron. The Rosen would not be Chicago. The Rosen, he would be like a 15 points per game guy. When LeBron's on your squad, everything revolves around him. Eh, if the, the Lakers Rosen, had the DeRozan, Rosen, 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 yeah. DeRozen he would have seen it in it. Goes in. That's a whole lot of mini. <laughs> DeRozan, bro. DeRozan, I don't know. You can't deny DeRozan, bro. He does not miss from mid-range. They that that is the Lakers reason they were good. You are right. Lakers could have definitely used that. I promise from that mid-range left elbow, he would have not hit the top left of the fucking backboard ten times. <laughs> what was Westbrook doing, man? Or average like four fucking turnovers a game, like, and he wouldn't have costed $120 million. 
I don't know. It, I don't think it would have been. I don't think it would have changed the Lakers that much. They would have made the playoffs, but DeRozan with LeBron would have been straight. I mean, it wouldn't have been like the best combo, but better than what would have been had. enough. It would have been enough. But they didn't have. Uh, they didn't have cap space to sign DeRozan and the Bulls, dude. Yeah, they didn't even have enough money to sign Caruso for what he wanted. So exactly. I think they were just dead set on getting Westbrook, but that's what you know, even people were saying it before it even happened. Some people were like, "This is not gonna work." Well, if they had, if they maybe played it differently, maybe built like it needed to be like Anthony Davis's team, and then yeah, like a one-two punch. Whole year. With, it needed to be. It needed to be Westbrook and AD, and then LeBron just like filling in the gaps and being like a starting, like facilitating wing player. But AD and Westbrook could never get on the same page. Well, the Westbrook likes to be stay on the court. Have the ball, right? Like he can't just be off the ball and just catch and shoot. They, the guys that would that would that's that's LeBron. That's his and strength with Westbrook. Westbrook. Westbrook's never played with a post player as good as Anthony Davis either. He's never played with a scoring big. You think oh, about I mean, Durant. I mean, he's like the same size. Abaca, but Abaca. Durant plays small forward though, on the wings and shit. I'm saying like some true, like never yeah, utilize him. Russell's never had even out off of a pick and roll. You know what I even mean? Even the problem is both of those guys, Westbrook and LeBron, they don't play without the ball in their hands. They give up the ball, they just stand yeah. there. That's the problem. Or LeBron will, LeBron will pick and find shooters. That's it. So if he's going to the if he's going to go to the corners, he and develops stand the post there. game later in his career. Yeah, but for the most part, he stands there. When he don't have the ball in his hand, it's either he's posting up or he just stands still. He's if not he was cutting. The same where he was, he would be, it would be totally different. Like he, he was not even thinking of going in the post early in his career. Yeah, but the older the, the older you, the older you get, the more you're supposed to be going to the post. LeBron is too brolic to be standing on top of the key at age thirty, what, thirty seven, thirty eight. I mean, why couldn't LeBron just be Joe Rosen? Because he didn't have the jumper. Because like LeBron that. ain't built like that. He ain't got a jumper. What people gotta understand. <laughs> he he can shoot, but he doesn't. He just it's not a ball. LeBron is a stat pattern, bro. Like, pay attention. He get he whips off like four assists at once because mm-hmm. that's what he focuses on. And there was the Golden State game yeah. where he got fouled, right? He got fouled two to three curry. They called it, and it's free free throws. And I said the same. I was like, I don't trust him with these free throws. Him and Westbrook, man, they're the same people. Except LeBron is smarter than Westbrook, yeah. but they do the same he shit. Late in games, he passes it off. He doesn't want yeah. to free throws more. If Westbrook and AD played every game together, they probably would have made the playoffs. But they didn't. AD, AD came back. And they never got that gel. AD, uh, I don't know his contract. Yikes. Man, what? Westbrook, Westbrook let it get to his head too. Man. Who's AD? <laughs> Anthony Data Davis. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean Streakle Davis. Oh my bad. You mean Glass? That boy Glass. Yeah, Glass. <laughs> But I, I, I was listening to some dude, a uh, random ass fucking dude, talking about AV, and he was like, that motherfucker needs to go play some street ball and fall on the concrete a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I hate that. I don't. Need to rough him up a little bit. Maybe yeah. soft or something. The Lakers know. are fucked, man. I don't. I help my breath when a man, a grown man, has fallen on the ground before more than when I've seen Anthony Davis play basketball. <laughs> he's either uh, falling down or he's limping or he's just yimpy. There's just no yeah. sprint or no. There's just ain't no heart, man. <laughs> he, he might be soft. I don't know. He survived the bubble. The problem is yeah, Anthony right? Davis does not even want to play center. He's not fucking with the center position either. He, he doesn't want to play it. I think they, they forced him into that. I think he should he, be. No, he, he shouldn't be. He can't play it, man. He's not. He's, he can't last the whole season playing at center. He'll break down. Yeah, but why is that? They need a legit five. Why can't he last? Because he just... The way he plays, man, he's too... He's, cl- he's kind of clumsy down low. 
They didn't play Howard most of the of the they at times they just sparingly used him at the five. Vogel is so wishy washy when it comes to Dwight though. Like he'll play him thirty minutes one game and then five the next. Like you never know. But I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just because Dwight good. Dwight played the whole year they won the championship until the finals and then he never got minutes. Which he I had a beef with uh, early in the year. Remember we had a beef with uh, AD. And then yeah. ever since then, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, they went through it for sure. They went through a lot of shit. They never got it right. I felt like we were talking about earlier, like they felt like they had more time the whole fucking season. And they just like yeah. all of a sudden they ran out of time and like Braun was hurt. And, like, AD was trying to come back. Like, Y'all are fucking out of time. <laughs> They procrastinated, maybe, you know? I just loved it, bro. I loved the little highlight reel of tweets that I've seen. Someone po- posted a whole montage of, like, just Lakers hype before the season. It was just amazing. Like, <laughs> so many ESPN. Could you imagine this team? No, they used the Benny Hinn music. Games? They used the Benny Hinn music for his uh, <laughs> misses. And it was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I just, they were like, could you imagine playing this game in seven games? And it's like, no, we can't. Like, no one can. Because it's not, it's not even going to yeah. None of them will make it seven games. No, but they're the kind of team that if they do get in, you know, then you never know. So, if know, they got like, in, the Suns would sweep them just like they did last year. I know, but I mean, the playing would have, I, I would have given them a punch of chance. Because, you know, in, in a one game, LeBron can... LeBron would have ha- LeBron would have definitely put up a 40, 50 point game, and it would have been up to the rest of the Lakers. That's the sad thing about it. You know, the games that they just even edged out, he's had those 40, 50. Yeah, it's a part of it, bro. I mean, you can't say like any other player. Like you can't blame Damian Lillard for being on a piece of shit team. Like, no, he's LeBron going through what, Yeah, he's going through what Kobe went in the last year, the last. Exactly. Well, I mean, and part of that was Kobe's fault. Kobe's the one that told him to pay Luau Dang all that money. Um, you know, Kobe is part of the reason why, you know, he swayed some of the players to come. LeBron is definitely a big... Well, player. no, that team, that roster was, it was the, uh, him, that, I think it was the Nash, Howard, and the Saul, and Kobe. Yeah, that was, like, pretty rough. But I think we can all agree that with Damian Lillard, the narrative is true. Two, look out for look out for two it's players. It's time. Dame and uh, Beal. Beal, Beal, could be Beal could be a game changer if he, because he might get up out of there, right, from Washington. No, he's taking that money, son. <laughs> Who are you talking about, Dame? No, uh, Beal. Beal. You don't want to win, Beal? No, no I don't know. Beal. I'd like to see Beal go to Miami. You can get that big ass contract and nah, Bradley Bill about to sign a ten year super max. He's trying to get that bread. <laughs> He's trying to get that moolah. Hey, super not going I, thought he to win. I thought he wanted to win. I mean, if, if he thinks that Sadaranti, he don't care about winning. He's winning money. He'll worry about getting his money. You know, a lot of guys are like that. They just want to get fucking paid. Yeah, him and Kuzma just gonna get paid. What he he go him and Dame, Dame Dollar. He, he can go play with his buddy uh, Tatum. Both hometown guys. I think for a guy like Bill, it's more about being a, a scorer and like a number one option and getting paid. Uh, and, I can't wait for and Dame telling to like the upper play. management to build around me. Huh? Do what? I said, I can't wait for Damian Lillard to miss the playoffs again next year because he's still with the Portland Braille. So Bronze. he's going to be there forever. They're building around other dudes. Anthony. I, Anthony. I really oh, I love uh, I love watching Dame play. I really hope he wins the oh, championship yeah. because it don't look like he's going to go anywhere else to do it. I want to talk to Portland fans. I want to know what they think. Like, what the fuck is going on? What is the they better be. They better be nothing else but gracious. Man, they don't gracious. think anything, man. They, they're I guess out there smoking the DMT, man. That, that, that you, you right. You right. They're out there smoking DMT and chilling. 
and doing some weird <laughs> Portland shit. Yeah, Portland. <laughs> yeah. Lakers fans are greedy. We we got we got uh, greedy. <laughs> they <laughs> is. They hungry. They like, yo, we didn't win yeah. the championship. Who can we get? Ma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit. No, I, I, I love the fact that they doubted in us the uh, most of the media for the Raptors. Like, you guys are gonna beat Philly? They got they got Harden. Harden is the most pressure. Harden Somebody brought up every year. Somebody brought up earlier, like what players are the Lakers gonna get? It's like it's not really like up to them. I feel like at this point, like Genie Bucks is like gotta get back on the horn with uh, the GM. No, I. I agree though. I love how everyone thinks it's the Lakers are in control of the narrative and shit, and they're not. Like, right? well, LeBron said it. LeBron said, "I don't." Not care. after the, Not after what they did this year. That's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. facts. Well, yeah. Right everybody. Now. Everybody like, sees a the mess. They had. They had right. every. They had all the pieces in their hand at the, right before the start of the season when they could have gotten all them guys, but they made the wrong move. Now they don't oh, have here. control. I, I, I saw something interesting. You know, Pau Gasol was on JJ Reddick's podcast a couple of few weeks ago or whatever, whenever it was released. And uh, mm-hmm. Pau Gasol has been like kind of interning, I guess, like uh, he's been hanging around with the Warriors to like learn how upper management works and coaching and all that shit. But my buddy um, trying to get attended well no my buddy on the podcast goes uh he goes well why isn't he doing that with the lakers where he played and it's like is it maybe because no the, mom. is it maybe because the warriors are a better ran organization than the lakers oh hey the war the war the warriors got the uh, team national ring like, why doesn't any? Why doesn't Pau Gasol want to go to LA and learn how to do Ron's like a polarizing upper like, level maybe. shit? Because of the GM. Exactly. Like, okay, like so the, that's the a red flag. Like, Pau Gasol won championships in the with the Lakers. If he wanted to hang around the coaching staff and upper management, like he he would have that. He yeah. would be included. Fair. Maybe he. But, Try something new. That is all. He wants to learn. (laughs) Maybe he wants to try something new with a different team. That's a possibility. (laughs) However, I do think your point with the Lakers does make the most sense. Like he's going to a successful franchise to kind of learn the ropes. Well, they said that's not. (laughs) Various coaches are kind of. They don't like the way it was handled with vocal. Because like I mean, Mark Jackson's name comes up, uh, but yeah, yeah uh, he wants that smoke. It's a, it's a real hot seat in LA. It's not like going yeah. to go. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't like. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Be a of tough Vogel, job. But they did do Vogel dirty. I believe so. I'm I'm on board with up. that. Polinka, they put eight go. Because it proves that the the bubble ring didn't mean shit even to the Lakers. Because well, they magic still called them, Magic called them out. Magic said that Polinka is, um, I think he mentioned that, a bit of a snake. <laughs> He's he still mad that, about that shit? <laughs> no, 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 I mean, <laughs> come back then. He, wait, Yo, Magic is petty. He, he comes up with these bombs on the first take, right? That really pissed off the fans. Like, Magic's like, fuck you like, to the very end. He does it. I think he does He goes on the show, he's like, you know, they could have actually gotten DeRozan, but they could I want him to say Westbrook, say Westbrook in, a, in Westbrook face. <laughs> Dude, somebody the other day asked me how winning time's gonna end, and I was like, I think Magic Johnson dies. Dude, I love winning time. I'm not gonna lie, that shit is fire. It's a good show. I love that I Jerry West character. You think that made me happy? <laughs> no, he just he's always gonna be a Laker. He said he's always gonna be a part of it, but he said he just couldn't deal with it no more. He said that the the family was yeah. too involved and that. Yeah. Even um, he left. He left and went and worked with the Warriors. And then Thing had the nerve to go on the show. His shop and was like, Oh, uh he's like, I didn't get no, no word from Magic. I didn't get no text or nothing. Yeah. Jerry Le- Jerry West went and worked with the Grizzlies and then he went and worked with the Warriors. And then he went and he worked with the other LA team, mm-hmm. Clippers. He didn't go back to the Lakers. The Los I mean, Angeles Lakers skate 
They did Bungle Bungle they, they did Jerry yeah, West. Yeah, right? They did Jerry West Journey. Yeah, I mean, there's something going on there that nobody wants to go the back. Logo. You know what it is? Nobody wants to go back. Though. You know what it is? They only hire and 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 click up with people that they already know. Clutch. No, yeah. it's not even that. It's, it's it's people that they already know. Rob Polinka. Think about all the hires. Kirk Rambis. Kirk Rambis is very unsuccessful. Him and his wife have major positions in the Lake organization. Why? It's always the Rambuses. Yeah, well, it's a family. It's like a, it's yeah. a big club, yeah. It's like it's certain uh, figureheads in there. Like, they don't really even... Even if they don't do much, the fact that they're part of the family, they're... You know, it's they, they hire yeah. very internally, man. That's how they move. Mm-hmm. That's like the... Who is it? The uh, Chicago Bears are the same fucking way, and they never win. Yeah, like Luke Walton. Look how they hired Luke Walton because of his pops. Mm-hmm. They always, they always kind of hire his whoever pops. they know. The teams that win are the teams that have a system, a program, like a culture, right? Like mm-hmm. the Miami mm-hmm. Grizzlies, Toronto <laughs> Grizzlies, a young upstart team. Uh, hell, Clippers even look the Warriors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the Lakers Who really utilize the... relationships. That's how they move. You do, you have two years in LA to make it, and if you don't do anything substantial, they're gonna get rid of you. So. Now it depends. It it depends who you are. If you already had that, affiliation, but... then cool. If you're Frank Vogel, you don't have no affiliation with the Lakers. They don't get rid of your ass. I don't know. I don't know what. I, I wish Pau Gasol would be a part of the Lakers, but it doesn't. The Lakers don't feel the same, bro. They don't wear the same colors anymore. They fucking it feels like the bus is gone now. It doesn't feel the same as the Kobe played. It just does. I've oh, been yeah, a Lakers fan since you I was like, it. yeah, I've been a Laker fan for forever, and it just doesn't. I don't know. The Lakers don't feel the same. Mhm. I I can see that. Cause you know why they imported sure. everybody. They just imported everybody to the squad. Nobody's real identity was built with that team. Westbrook is really OKC. LeBron is really Cleveland. Anthony Davis is really somewhere else or wherever else LeBron wants to go. He's a follower. The Lakers don't really have like a solid Laker. Right. What's their identity? Yeah. Their identity is we're a huge market. I miss. I miss those that NBA era, the 2000s era the most, just because I just, I feel like the league was so spread out like 2008, 9 2006 and shit, like every team had like one or two really superstar players and no more than that, you know what I mean? It's kind of getting back Yeah, to it's kind of getting back yeah, to that right now. It is. Guys are spreading out. Since the bubble, I feel like it's yeah. gotten a better. I think Guys it's getting better out. in the East, I think especially in the East too. Yeah, definitely. When I seen Donovan Mitchell and uh, what's his name for the Nuggets, Jamal Murray, when I saw their game seven in the bubble, that's when I was like, okay, the NBA is starting to get back up again. All right, everybody, I want to thank you for having me in this space. It's been amazing. You guys take care. You guys have been amazing. And uh, keep watching the play-in and uh, the rest of the playoffs as well. I'll take care, guys. All right, follow back. You too, man. You too, bro. Yo, do you guys do you guys think this could be uh, Popovich's last game coaching ever, or you think he's got a few more seasons in him? Nah, man, he's he's willing to die on the court. He's yeah, he ain't quitting. Yeah, he's we gonna, talked about this last night. Yeah, he's, he's gonna die on the, the court. Thing. I was like, why is he in San Antonio? What's the point? Yeah, he ain't got nothing else to do. They're they're four Good. or five years away from being a a real contender if they even will be. Yep, Popovich I think he really wanted to, to pass it down to somebody, but all his guys keep getting poached. Yeah. And and uh, he's, like, kind of building this team, like, setting somebody up, it seems like, to take over. But then, like, Becky Hammonds couldn't get the job, and then she took that WNBA job. I don't think the NBA is ready for a woman head coach. Listen, yo, listen, yo, that that to me is hilarious because you know why? It's not the fact that she's a woman. The NBA, right. think about it. They shit on the guy coaches, right? Right. Most of, most players uh-huh. do, no matter how legendary that, that guy coach is. The players have to come yeah. back and yell at him. 
or you know if it's the superstars get at the coaches that have more power than the coaches can you imagine the nba if it was a league where it's like yo this superstar has beef with becky him and a woman and he got oh, her fired exactly can you imagine how bad that shit will look oh yeah exactly yeah. like okay so you hire her and what if it doesn't work <laughs> out okay. oh, cool. yeah the first team that fired the woman head coach. coach yeah the media and the media is not gonna they can't wait for that yeah they can't wait so to say oh. hey you know oh look he just because she's a woman and it's like yo but the superstar has more more power but now the superstar can't say shit because it's a woman oh, yeah. he doesn't want to get and no then, backlash yeah. it's, it's gonna be some awkward it, shit if it doesn't work then they can't fire her and everybody's like oh they won't fire her because she's the first woman head coach like it's mm-hmm. a lose lose yeah like like look at genie bus <laughs> genie bus it, it was mad obvious that the lakers were dysfunctional before they even got lebron but nobody I said know. shit Nobody said shit because she's a woman, and then when she, and when she won the championship, oh yeah, she's the first woman coach. I mean, the woman you know owned the team to win the champion. It's like, yeah, man, but the franchise has been mad dysfunctional for mad long. But y'all won't say shit. Mm-hmm. Like she was fighting with her brother for the ownership yeah. of, of the squad. She hasn't won a she hasn't won a fucking finals with a player she's drafted. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're not gonna say nothing like that because she's a woman. But that the Laker franchise since the since the father died has been dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever since Jerry's yeah. gone, man, Jerry just had an eye for who could play and who couldn't and shit. And then I mean it's Kobe too. Yeah. You know but, the sad part is I felt like Kobe was like continuously building his wealth to try to fucking buy that team, man, and like make it yeah. what it was. Yeah. And it just yeah. like we'll never fucking know. But I felt like that was like his his move the world was where, to like gain wealth because he was doing all that fucking investing and stock market shit yep and then uh what's it called body art what's the drink called fucking everything man yo he yo he was gonna leave nike index fund shit (laughs) yo kobe was gonna leave nike and he he already had his own concept of his own shoe with technology in it right and then he had the meeting the, the the week that he died he had the meeting set up for the next week where where he was yeah. gonna leave Nike? There he had the shoe. There he had the concepts. Damn. Everything is online. You can see the the Kobe shoe that they were that they had that was gonna come out. It was a technology yeah, it's shoe. Sad. Yeah, like he, yo, that shit with Nike was over. Yeah, right. Kobe was about to go his own way. He had he he, he, he had a bunch of thing. he had a bunch of venture capitalists already invested. Kobe was yeah, about to did. go do his own thing. Man, I would have yeah. loved a pair of Kobe shoes, no doubt. Oh yeah, yeah, man. He's the guy. He's the new generation Jordan. Like he's the guy. Uh-oh. That shit, in a way, yeah. Kobe dying. I don't want to say this, but it kind of helped out Nike because for oh, it, it would have been a bad look if they seen like not a bad look, but it would have been bad for Nike had they seen a major superstars, like all the young stars in the league. They would have seen a major superstar that they look up to branch off of Nike and do his own thing. They would have started doing the same thing. You know how that go. Yeah, it's almost like LeBron. The, everybody, all the young young superstars saw LeBron, a major superstar, leave his hometown and go elsewhere for the betterment of his own career. So they all started doing the same shit afterwards. If everybody saw Kobe leave Nike, have his own shoe line, manufacture his own shoes, they would have started doing the same shit. Yeah, it's just a shame because I really feel like that was like his end game. It's like the oh, that fucking Lakers team. I really felt that he was driving he was gonna, towards that. Yeah, it was either going to be a Laker or a, the Lakers or a WNBA team. Yeah. No, nah, I think he was going to own the Lakers. I've never seen him coaching the WNBA team, to be honest. I guess you can get both, though. You know, you like look at A Rod, he bought. The Timberwolves, you get the eight, the WNBA team is like a throw in. <laughs> now, nah, Kobe, 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 def- Kobe definitely had plans on doing something with the no, Lakers. No doubt. Because no doubt. I'm not sure you guys remember, Ron Artest got on first take after Kobe got on first take. Kobe told Stephen A. Smith that he's never with the Lakers. But Ron Artest, afterwards, like two months or a week later, he got on there and was like, yo, Kobe be with the Lakers all the time. He be at the practices watching LeBron. <laughs> and Stephen A. Smith was like, oh, that's not what Kobe said. And then Le- Ron Artest yeah. was like, yeah, he's there all the time. I'm like, Kobe capping. He don't want nobody to know. Yeah. 
It was playing. It was a power move. So yeah, he was doing something behind the scenes. Rob, yeah. I think Rob Palinka was his middleman, just in case the Lakers don't work out. They can't blame Some Kobe. Kind of they blame Rob Palinka. Yeah. I heard yeah. Just, just a figurehead. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Like I tried to say Magic was the GM. I heard it really wasn't. Nah, yeah, it clearly wasn't him. You could tell. Ma- Magic, um, Ma- Magic is not that type of guy where he's gonna go in the office and work twenty four seven. Well, Palinka like disappeared too from media, <laughs> like all year. <laughs> yeah, but Palinka's probably grinding and, and scouting and doing reports and everything. Magic is probably barely in the office. Yeah, no, he was never that guy. Yeah, Ma- Magic is the type of guy. If you have a, uh, if you're a corporation, you got a brand you want to push out and you need a figure a yeah. face. Magic is your guy, yeah. but Magic ain't gonna run it. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Al- he's also like a big idea guy. Yeah, he's like the personality. Not get a- everybody together, communicate, laugh, talk, negotiate. But not Magic a- is not the guy to to run the business. Day to day operation. Yeah, he's not that guy. He's the he's the negotiator, not, not, not. the guy you bring to the meeting when you're trying to get the business deal done. He could sweet talk. That's everybody. like a. Jordan's older brother, his name's Larry Jordan. He does that shit. He's like an operational guy for the pop, or not Popcats, for mm-hmm. the Hornets. <laughs> he does that shit. Yeah. He's like in the office. Oh, no. Michael Jordan does not do anything for the fucking Hornets. His brother does a lot, though. His older brother, Larry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you, I thought you were meaning I saw Michael Jordan. I was like, that man does uh, shit. Like, his brother does a lot of that shit. He's like a head of the scouting department. All, all kinds of fucking shit. Yeah, man. I mean, he some... made him work for it, though. He didn't just, like, give him a <clears> position. <throat> he started at the bottom and had to, like, work his way up. Yeah, he went up to MJ. MJ would make his older brother, like, work his way up through the company. <laughs> hey, it makes it makes perfect sense. Oh yeah, it makes perfect sense. You gotta learn it. Everybody else, you gotta learn the business first. You know. Yeah, because you know what? If if Jordan didn't do that, then his whole franchise would end up like the Lakers, yo. That's what the Lakers do. Because remember, when the father died, the father wanted the son to be the GM, and he was a GM, and he was one of the worst GMs ever, yo. He didn't even take his time to learn that position. He just fucking was doing his own thing. I was like, yo, this guy's fucking dumb. He just thought it was about, like, being a casual fan. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, and that's... Yeah. that. Yo, think about it. The father left the team for the sister to run the business mm-hmm. side of it, not the son. That's how much the son is not really... He wasn't involved like that when he, when his father was alive. Because he... Much a rich his, white his boy. Dad, yeah, his dad was too rich to even be around. So he probably didn't even. His dad never had the time to sit down and show him. Nah, it wasn't even that. He had no interest in that. He had interest in some other shit. It was magic and the daughter that was around all the fucking time. Magic yeah, and the daughter. True. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. He, he had time. That's why to... she started banging Bill mm-hmm. Jackson. Yeah, man. It was, it was the daughter was around the fucking squad the whole all the time, I bro. I can't believe Bill Jackson was hitting that. Dog, Dennis Robner hit it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, he Imagine hit it. Probably hit <laughs> Man, yo, probably other NBA players hit it too, bro. They just they don't they're not gonna say it. Man, you know what? I I got on here to talk to y'all, and I have enjoyed the hell of it. But I was supposed to be like editing this podcast the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm gonna have to bounce. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to end uh, this chat go too. Pelican. I got to bounce, but I'm going to follow you guys, man. You guys stay up. Yeah, yeah.